Alrighty, guys, we're here with episode 18. We got ourselves, we got Billy from the Game Chasers. Alrighty. We, um, we got the, the regular crew here today. We got Chris, we got Riff, and we got Ricky and myself. And uh, <laughs> we want to go into our first one. It's uh, the real toll of YouTube. But uh, Riff, do you want to give us a little bit of background? Of I it? want Billy to just kind of start off before we do anything. Tell your. I mean, so we give ourselves credit a lot on the show. Like, we're one of the first OGs of game hunting. But you were before us by a year and a half. What year were you? Oh, my God. We've all been doing that for this long. I was 2012. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, uh, yeah, it was, it was actually technically, I guess, like uh, uh, 2010. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, about May- May-ish or March or something okay. like that. Yeah. No, I've been doing it for, my my God, for that long, apparently. Um I just got my inspiration from actually, funny enough, uh, little known fact, th- there was a YouTuber called Dinky Dana. I, I talk about <laughs> Dinky Dana. No, you don't. I, someone just the other day asked me, who was the first YouTuber you can think of those collecting games? And I said, I think it's Dinky Dana. It, he he did a, uh, he was just like, did not uh, did a video where he was out in the street and said, hey, you know, I'm going to go pick up this blah, blah, blah. I don't even remember what it was, video game related. And uh, we're going to go on the journey. And I'm like, well, that's a fun little journey. I want to go along on that journey. And I'm like, oh, that would be cool. And then we had already been watching like American Pickers. And I'm like, oh, doing video games. But then like, you know, uh, doing it kind of like in the style, like an American Pickers sort of like, you know, polished. It is crazy that you guys were, you came in so early. So you would think you guys came in jank, right? Because the, the what's video- jank? <laughs> Happy, just filming, camera shaking. But oh, well, you guys well. came in hot. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have a I have a video game, a video background, and like you know, there's. But the funny thing is, like, I still look at those old episodes, and I'm like, my, well, yeah, that that sucks. That's uh, that I shouldn't have done that. You know, it's funny though, Pat, Pat the NES Punk, he loves to think that I got the inspiration inspiration for Game Chasers for Flea Market Madness. Yep, I didn't, Pat. I re- which camera's on that uh, camera? Yeah, straight ahead. I didn't, Pat. I really, <laughs> really didn't. I swear, like I didn't even know you existed. Well, I knew you existed, but I didn't know Flea Market Madness existed until we started. So. One of the first times we met him at a convention, we we're like, "Hey, yep. Pat!" Like you know, where he's like, "I know you guys." He's like, you know, kind of like giving us a hard time. Like he's like, "Hey, you got that uh, Flea Market Madness wannabe show?" And I was like, "What?" The heck, bro? I was like, "Okay, I'll, I'll take that." Um, I, I can kind of see his, I could picture his sideway glance as he's saying it. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's got his, his Pat glare. What brought, what like made you pull the trigger on being like, I'm going to do it? Because I know that there's so many people who have wanted it. I've been thinking about it for yeah. years, this and that. But what made you be like, I'm doing this, I'm going for it? So I'd already, like, I'd been working on, you know, uh, just my, my job, my, my corporate videos and stuff. And then everything kind of slowed down because the economy crashed in 2008. Or whenever, whenever it was, it was 2008, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything just started to just basically crash, and 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 our production house started to lose work, and I had some more time on my hands, and so I'd been watching video, uh, watching YouTubers doing videos on on retro games, and I'm a, I'm a I love retro games, I love making videos. Why not combine the two? So I kind of I started doing that like at the first part of two. Actually, uh, I did a video 2009. No, 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 2010. October 2010 is when I made the first, um, I actually created the channel and I made a video and, uh, funny enough, I don't, I don't think I've ever talked about this actually funny enough, but, um, I, I did like a, a video, like my top five favorite NES games because that kind of thing mattered back then. It was huge. Yeah, exactly. And I had the NES box here and I, and at the end of the video, I get up and I have no pants on. <laughs> no, nope, I have no pants on, and, I, and I'm like, nice. I'm like, you know, it's going to be great. I go, it's going to be great, and you know, I'll just blur out the video. I'll blur out like that part of it. It'll be great, you know, and because nobody ever does a top five NES video with no pants on. Nobody does that. No. I'll, I'll, I'll be like the first. <laughs> Definitely not, Billy. <laughs> I will be the first, and I never uploaded that video. No. Yeah, Rick, I never uploaded that video. Uh, but Rick then, would be the first. Uh, no underwear. <laughs> it's been a good twelve years since I wore underwear. You know, it's funny when you said October 2010. We started October 2012, so we were exactly two years yeah, apart. Yeah, two years. But uh, yeah, so we did. Just, I did like just regular just videos. I think it was uh, it was the um, the All Gen podcast. We did a video, I remember that the contest video, and then a few videos. You know, just 
she didn't really know what the, what the, what we we're going to do. I was just kind of throwing stuff up there and most of it sucked. Well, all of it sucked. And, uh, one day I think in, in April or May or whatever, or March, I mean, we decided to do game chasers and then threw up the, the first episode. Wow. Did it take off? Right away? Right away, yeah, it, it did. did. Um, it did. It, it, you know, relatively speaking, you know, in that it's just so hard to compare today's YouTube with Com YouTube back People then. don't understand it's, that, though. A lot of people do not get it. Yeah. Because the amount of people that are consuming YouTube now is unfathomably large versus back in the day that people consuming YouTube was unfathomably lower. So to hit 100K, to hit 50K, even 30K back then was like, oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like, you're crushing it because it was like, a completely different world. Do you remember how many views you got on your the first video? You uploaded? Oh man, um, a few thousand, but that was that was huge. huge. Like, and I, and I remember like guys I looked up to, like Johnny Millennium uh, Gamester eighty one, who had twenty to thirty thousand subscribers, and they were commenting on the video. Pete Door, they're commenting on the video, and I'm like, literally fanboying out. I'm like, oh yep. my god, this is amazing! Like, this is the best thing ever! Like, they they they're you know they're noticing us like these guys who have been doing this for a long time they have so many subscribers and they're noticing us and i'm just like going crazy i remember having the same sentiment yeah. when you guys would start commenting on our stuff yeah you know what? I, a little unknown fact here i don't know which one it was but the first youtuber person to ever comment on our stuff was melvor he commented on like a it was like a top again was it, was it nice was it yeah, nice it was one? very nice. <laughs> yeah, that's that's must be not, must be nice to get my, you know nice comments from him. Yeah, Usually it was very nice. He... It was like, wow, I really see something with this channel or something, and I was like, oh man, it's the guy from the Game Chasers. He, he trolls me, so I've seen those. He's always like, why did these videos suck so bad? Yeah. <laughs> now, how, how hard was it to like kind of stay consistently uploading the content that you did like when you first started? It wasn't hard because you know when you whenever you put up that first video and people just immediately are like and again that was the first part that was early on in youtube usually you didn't really see something that was kind of that polished quote unquote and so people were just taking taking aback a little bit and get really excited about oh this is america cuz i remember i would watch american pickers and i would sometimes um see things like in the background they're they're looking at like oil signs and mm -hmm. motorcycles Cans and stuff and, yeah. and I've, I, there were episodes where I've seen like nerdy stuff in the background. Me too. Yeah. A big oh, yeah, video yeah. game neon sign one time and I flipped and they didn't even yeah. mention it. Exactly. Exactly. And so I'm like, I, oh God, God get that. What, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. and, and, and so like, I, I'm like, I'm like, I really wanted to sh see a show like that. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to see a show like that. And I think when it comes to creation, it's like, you know, make things that you would want to see. And I think that's where you, you kind of stay true to everything. I wanted to see a show about people going out and then looking for like nerdy stuff and video games being the most nerdy stuff that I, you know, at that time was into. Um, it just seemed, you know, only natural. And then when people like got on, you know, got on board and it was like, this is amazing. Uh, no, it, it, it made it like energizing. It was very energizing because now you know that you have something that people enjoy and you love making it. So it made uh, the process of making it, you know, enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. And to be on topic, like with this, is there a toll now that you've been doing it for so many years to uh, like keep on producing that content? Oh, for sure. 100%. Um, and you know, if so, I, my follow up on that was like, for how long? Like, what was yeah. the point where, like, you felt like, because, you know, it's energetic. There's, there's people. Ah, oh, everyone's like, like, look at these guys. They're I feel like we all hit our peaks and then we hit our lows and we hit our mids. But, like, you know. Right, right. Oh, I, I don't. <laughs> Mid, low trash. You're terrible. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I could uh, pinpoint a moment. But, like, but just just to just to clarify. Yeah. Like, the energy from when you put up an episode and people are just, like, ecstatic that you've put that up and go, oh, oh man, I've, you've made my night. You know, you've made my evening. I have something to watch now that that never leaves that's mm -hmm. always there but you know it's just um you know after after 10 11 years 12 years you know it gets to the point where you're like and you know uh may that maybe that creative spark is not as as strong as it used to be mm -hmm. yeah. and that just happens and and you know we, we did the movie and stuff that was really uh, you know for me it was a need to just kind of like do something else i get that you know so yeah. Can, I, can I go back yeah. even a little bit further? How do you and Jay know each other? Are you guys lifelong friends? Did you grow up together? Boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a Christian show. <laughs> oh. There we go. Uh, 
Yes, boyfriends. Uh, no, um, <laughs> answer, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, we uh, we uh, grew up in uh, in Blockbuster as boyfriends. Um, no, uh, we we worked at Blockbuster. I, I got a job at uh, Blockbuster, and he was he was already working there. And this was maybe like ninety eight, ninety eight ish. That's so cool. There. So yeah. Oh, so way before like you twelve years before you ever put out a video, you mm-hmm. guys were friends. Gotcha. Yep. Were you guys like best buds, or were you guys like? Like basically that so like Ricky and I like we were best friends. We we're like let this start this together. Were you guys like good friends? But then when you're like, hey, I, w- I would we should start a show together. This guy who's maybe not necessarily my best buddy, and you guys got closer from there. Well, so or I'm what? a loser. Mm. So Curtis knows. <laughs> I, I keep my circle small. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, it was it was just kind of like you know you know yeah friends come and go sort yeah. of thing and you know. Some people fall off the face of the earth. You never hear from them again. We just kind of stayed in contact, stayed friends, stayed h- hanging out, and literally just sitting down, just hanging out, watching American Pickers on TV. And where I'm like, you know, we, but but we had planned on like we had thought about doing like other stuff before that. Like we had a, a, a an idea to kind of do it because we had like a really extremely fi- I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Weight, uh, weight challenged friend. <laughs> a fat friend. <laughs> yes, yeah. fat friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all have a Curtis. We're all, <laughs> no, only we're allowed to put you down. You can't put yourself down. It hurts. Yeah. Uh, like extremely to the got point, it, with the point where like he's going to the doctor and they're saying you better lose some weight. Mm. And so we were like, hey, you know, be cool. Like this, this, and this guy was like a hoot. He's one of those type of guys where everybody just wanted to be around him. Everybody wanted to. That's cool. Um, be his friend. He was one of those type of guys. So he made the perfect type of guy to kind of like center a documentary around and be like, hey, let's take this guy, our friend, and 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 try to try to get him to, to, to lose a couple hundred pounds and like go through that journey. And we knew it was going to be an absolute train wreck. And that was would be part of like the charm of, of the documentary. And we were we were getting into that. We we're going to do that. And he just basically just like blew yeah. us off. Uh, like he was, he was, he was gung ho about it. Yeah, let's do it. And then just because, because, but funny thing is, that, I mean, that was part of his personality to begin with. Part of the what we were trying to harness and 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 and, and kind of showcase yeah. in the documentary. But it ended up being the detriment because he was like just flaky. I guess. Yeah. I guess the best word you could do, Did describe Santa? it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that our spark moment to start was from you guys? Like the, that moment where we were like, okay, we're doing this. And it was, yes, we were watching you guys. You guys are retro hunters. So, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. So, I, I picture, I don't know why I picture it, but what I do picture, you picture? You, yeah. Okay. So, y'all two were on a Ferris wheel. Oh, you know, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So far, correct. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to the high point and got, we should make a video game show. <laughs> yes. That's exactly. <laughs> Dang, nailed it. What, uh, we were in his living room and we've been watching you guys in the retro okay. hunters and. We've been talking about maybe we should yeah. start a show, and then it, we were we saw the episode where you guys like called Pat about the miracle piano, yep. and something about that. Ricky and I were like, "Dude, we found three of these this week." We're like, w- "That's it! Like, we're buying a camera, we're starting a show, and that was the moment that launched us." So, speaking of funny question, what did you think when we came around? Were you like, "Ah, these guys are just gonna they'll pass by"? Honestly, were you like, "These guys are gonna drop out in a month," or were you like, "Ah, oh, they're cool," or "I don't like them"? Plenty of people told me they didn't like me when they met me, so you can say it if it's real. I, 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 honestly, I honestly don't remember. Okay. Like, like uh, legitimately don't that remember. That hurts more. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts way more, Billy. But I'll take it. I don't remember yesterday, though. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> now that no, you... I, I, I'm, I, I really don't remember. Like, I didn't have an issue with you. I was like, okay. oh, uh, you know, there's, that's cool. M- more people are, are doing what you know what we're doing hopefully one day they don't do it better than us that'll uh, never happen don't <laughs> that'll worry. never happen um no i i like i to, to, so to me like more people doing that it, you know you're creating a, uh, like a community totally so, a community. so it's like that community it kind of feeds off of each other yeah and so um i i I, rem- I just i don't really exactly remember what i was thinking when i first saw it for got the first it time. we left I, no impact yeah. on your life thank you <laughs> well <laughs> i'll take it the honest well the not way. not at that moment true 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 okay. we give you a headache later i'm sure yes at some point for sure you know who hasn't said a word ricky do you have anything to ask this fine specimen yeah, I, I always wondered like we always get like people like compliment like oh dude i'll watch you but we made our own competition Back in the day, did you make your own competition pretty much by doing this? Basically, did you go to flea markets yeah. and like, hey, <laughs> like, thanks, oh, we, we oh, found this show. Oh. 
you know, a lot of people will say that. Like, you know, we'll 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 upload a video and then people will be like, uh, or we won't find anything, or you know, we'll just be like coming up with nothing, nothingness, and and people will be like, well, it's their own fault by creating the environment. Yeah, I don't think so. Like, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. My Ferris wheel, they say. Like, I don't think so. Like, like that's like retro gaming. The the nostalgia, the community of retro gaming is so much bigger than just us. Like us, we're just like a little speck. You know, the the people that once like us are people that like retro games. Mm. They enjoy bickering mm -hmm. and they enjoy farting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You just I will say so like all the whole song. That's, right yeah. <laughs> that's a very small percentage. Uh, so no, that very small percentage was not the reason for the big, you know, the the big explosion of retro. You know, the retro gaming. You know, I guess competition or yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. I and will so, say though, I I knew I, like Little Samson and Flintstones surprise at Dinosaur Peak. I feel like that's when everybody heard about it, which again, that's no shame. I knew it was expensive. I knew it was valuable, but I feel like that's when like, and, and to this day, I don't know if it's called giving you credit or what it is, but I feel like to this day, Little Samson is like the game on the NES. And I credit it back to you guys finding it because I feel like that was such a big moment in the yeah. retro scene. Did, did you find both of those in Game Exchange? One, I know you found the One Flintstones. The so no, uh, uh, Flintstone, Flintstones was at Game, Game Exchange. Exchange. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, the Little Samson uh, that I ended up giving uh, to Jay was actually at the flea market. Well, I found a Little Samson at the flea market, which is why I ended up... Ultimately What'd you pay? Nice. I paid $4. What'd you pay? Fifteen ninety nine. No. Eighteen ninety nine. No. Less than 10. four? 10. Ten. Let's hey, go but, score. but do we need to adjust for inflation now? <laughs> True. Inflation adjustment. Yeah, I paid four for mine. $4. <laughs> wow. Now, now your That's channel has been pretty pride and true to like what its image is. Do you have any like creative direction that you want to pursue in like in the future with it? I, I want to do more movies. With, like, nice. with, with the boys? Yeah, no, it's just, I, I, I enjoy it. The, the, I like making content. I love making things that people enjoy. I love people making p things that people like will literally like set us set things aside to watch you know how, however big or small that 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 those amount of people might be they are they exist um the one thing i don't like dealing with is is youtube and the algorithm the and game all the all that stuff i i hate it so yeah. much yeah you're pretty, I, you, you stick to your your guns with like how you produce your content but it's, it's uh, no i don't now not, not really date not da well i have but nowadays it's like i'm trying to like anything i'll do any little thing like i'll i'll oh i don't know even if it comes to a thumbnail it's like what can i do to make this be okay in the algorithm to where it's not gonna like youtube isn't gonna like just because i have people like saying oh this didn't show up in like you know your yeah, my, my notifications or whatever and like all that stuff and I'm like, oh my god, what 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 are we doing? What are we doing wrong? Mm -hmm. And so that I don't I just don't like that's just that's just mental Warfare. juices <laughs> that could be used towards something else that I yeah. don't want to deal with. Yeah. Like yeah. I just want to make stuff. Yeah. I don't want to deal with all that stuff. Yeah, yeah a lot it, of the big dogs who are putting yeah. out content who are getting those views and not obviously there's tiny teams as well, but a lot of people are hiring people like you do the media side of it. You put, make sure that it gets seen by yeah. YouTube. You yeah. do the analytics, which, you know, obviously you have to have a team to do that in the money, but there is a lot of people who obviously grow. Like you've seen that guy, Sam Solik, the yeah, muscle him, yeah. lifting He's guy, cool. weightlifting guy. Uh, I have, I'm not familiar with There's that. a guy on YouTube right now who's kind of took everything that we... Oh, YouTube's, is that the guy with the guy like long hair? Yep. He, He's just attack. huge, man. He, He's got like acne because of the... No uh, the, thumbnails, the, the no edits. <laughs> He's on everything. No nothing. <laughs> he uploads a video, raw footage, whatever thumbnails there, and he's just broke the internet. So everyone's like, what? Like, how is this? Because if yeah. you think about what's called Mr. Beastification of YouTube, it's crazy edits, crazy thumbnails, wild, wild, wild. That was like, that's how we get views. But didn't he do a thing like recently where like he closed his mouth and like apparently it got more views? Like, was that, wasn't that? Oh, I saw something like that. No that was Mr. That Beast. Mm. You're talking about Mr. Yeah, Mr. Beast. Beast. Yeah. He did like a thumbnail, mouth open, mouth closed kind of comparison to see. Oh, because the better. mouth open has been so popularized. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Wow. wow. Can I ask you That's back crazy. in the day, like <laughs> one of our uh, business partners, partners with SoCal Gaming Expo and one of my longtime partners with Retro World is Lance Cortez, who is one of the founders of Retroware TV. Mm -hmm. Like how much did that help the algorithm and the growth of like you and uh, maybe even Norm and, and Pat, like early on, 
uh, like walk me through the history of how you guys like even got involved with Retro Wear right. TV and kind of all came together with that. So Retro uh, Retro uh, Wear TV was something I was actually watching before we even started the channel. So I would watch things like Video Game Takeout um, uh, and 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 of the uh, some of the other shows like Happy Video Game Nerd. Um, he would actually post there a lot too. And so I was familiar with the you know uh, the videos that were putting up there, and we came across. And actually, Pat was the first person that came you know approached us and said, "Hey, you know, um, I think you guys would be good because I think he had just joined the site and he was you know starting to be I guess a, a recruiter or something like mm -hmm. that for the site. And so he was, hey, you guys want to be a part of it? And I was actually like at the at the first I was like, yes, that dude, that's awesome because I've 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 been watching you guys. You know, it's funny because. I was watch. I was, um, you know, I would, I would, do, I'd be doing my co my corporate video, my little, my little nook. Yeah. You know, editing videos and stuff, or you know, the talking heads of like, you know, all state and you know, various uh, like uh, local like lawyers and all that stuff. It's it's great work. It pays the bills, but it's not. It's, well, it's not exactly for hard funny. to be passionate. You know, about exactly. It, yeah. Exactly. Um, and I, 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 but you know, while something maybe like rendering where I couldn't, I couldn't do anything else, I would be watching like. YouTube videos and be watching retroairtv.com and be watching these videos. And so this was far, this was way before I actually started, you know, making those type of, you know, videos on my own. And so when we, we started making those videos and, you know, we, we started like, you know, Pat emailed me and then Lance Cortez and then and John DeLay and they emailed me and, you know, uh, we, we start rubbing uh, elbows with like guys like James Rolfe and stuff. It was like a freaking amazing, like huge, deal at that time yeah it was like holy crap these are guys i've been watching they inspired helped you know it was a lot of inspiration that went into the channel but those those people were definitely part of the happy video game nerd and so to be a part of that site like there were some issues that we kind of had to work out with like you know uh, I, I didn't want to like kind of like i guess I'd go on the channel and like forget the youtube channel mm. you know i didn't want to make I, I didn't want to potentially like lose that audience so there were some issues that we needed to kind of were you know work out mm. um but we got it we got on board with them and started to uh you know uh, be a part of that you know tight-knit group and that was really super cool because you know they would do things like go to MacFest. yeah those are awesome yeah those, those fun yeah and, and and we would be would be a part of that now now looking back and seeing like man uh, I don't think like right now if we went to MacFest we'd be like the old men. <laughs> it would yeah. be it would be hey. awkward <laughs> as hell. Um, but but then it was it was just super cool and just so yeah being a part of that site you know once we were part of it it was it was it was just kind of surreal in in that moment because here I am you know watching these people. Mm before the idea of even making videos popped into my head and now we're a part of the site. It was like just, a, yeah, that was made super, it, I made it feeling. Yeah, in a way, yeah, as 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 cheesy it may as it may sound. Well, yes. your goals are your goals too. Yeah. Are, making yeah. it is, you know, can be different for each person what sure. making it means to you, you know. How could you you guys are both obviously well established YouTubers. How come you don't see more of that conglomerate like people coming together like that? Anymore? Money, a lot more money's involved these days with YouTube. Yeah. So a lot can get real dicey. Companies like Machinima get built up and then they fall and uh, what, Rev 5 or whatever it was called. All these, A lot of times this stuff does happen. Sometimes they work. There's stuff like normal boots and all these. But a lot of times, I will say, it's been a while since I've seen one just kind of stay true. Like, what, doesn't Screenwave Media, that was kind of their initial, thing. I think was that. And they own RetroWare TV now too. I think everyone just wants to take as much kind of home as they their can own, at this everybody's, point. Everybody's yeah, yeah. kind of doing their yeah. own thing. Retro Retro Wars actually, uh, yeah, they 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 turned it into a video game. Um, they got a awesome publisher game coming. Publisher now, yeah, so, yeah. No, they actually, I'm not paid by them by any means, but they actually uh, Prison City actually looks pretty bad. Oh, it does. yeah, we yeah. just talked about we that. We were just talking <laughs> about <Don't laughs> it. Billy can't know. <laughs> Billy can't know. Hey guys, if you guys haven't got your tickets yet for SoCal Gaming Expo, I'm gonna tell you for June 8th and June 9th of 2024. I'm telling you right now, please get your tickets. And we're nice. going to our Curtis, I like that. Thank <laughs> you, Curtis. Oh, Curtis. Plug it, baby. All right, and we're gonna go on to our next topic. It's gonna be agree or disagree. Ooh, okay, Curtis, baby, baby, exactly baby. Won't. Billy, sir, this one is. you're gonna put a thumbs up if you agree, a thumbs down if you disagree, and then we'll talk. Uh, we will make sure and let the audience know what we're doing as well. 
And uh, be ready, dude. I hope I hope we disagree on a lot of things so we can argue with each other. Because we've after that last conversation, we have too much in common. I I, I know. I, I need some bickering. I'm okay. not used to doing this without bickering. It's like for everyone's being friendly and like supporting <laughs> of each other. Oh, nice, Billy. Good job. You're doing great. Yeah. All right, we're weird. gonna we're gonna go on to. Our <laughs> <laughs> it's contemplating all his friends back at home. <laughs> we're gonna go on to our first one. It's gonna be the original Metroid is a fun game. The original Metroid is a fun game. Agree or disagree? Oh, yes. It's great. We got three agrees from Chris and Riff, and we got Billy. What? And the only disagree is How can Riff. You disagree so with this. What's wrong with it? Okay, so I like the game. I like Metroid, but the word that's throwing me off is fun. I don't think I have necessarily fun playing of the original Metroid. I like the game, but I don't think fun is the word I would use. I consider like a side scroller, a beat 'em up, a platformer a little bit more fun for me. I'm also dumb. So when I have to think and like, where do I go? I can't remember what this, that. I don't have as much fun. I like the game, but it doesn't resonate. It puts the F you in fun. Is it something that you played for the first time, like when you started collecting, or did you? No, play I put no, 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 definitely back in the day. Okay. But it's uh, in my household. It was always like I was the the more run and gun platformer, and my brothers were always like the more explorative, the Zeldas, little think harder. Mm -hmm. Again, the best example my ever my dad ever told me is when we were kids. He gave me and my brother a, a stereo. Both of us said, "Take it apart," and uh, literally to this day, he said, "My brother grabbed a screwdriver. I grabbed a hammer." And that's the example. Yeah. And I just <laughs> taking it apart. And that's the example how my brain works. So. Does anybody have like a really good history of like that game, like playing? It's it? one of my favorite games. I absolutely love it. I'm sorry. First of all, you're not dumb. It's not that. You might yeah. just not have liked In something about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I actually like that, that like I would get lost in that world. So <laughs> Billy's just thinking how this would never happen on his podcast. I call myself dumb. You're like, dude, you're not dumb. You're okay. <laughs> on your podcast, no, yeah, like, no, it would be it'd be it'd, it'd be like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but with a cuss word. Oh yeah, 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 yeah that's true. And by it'd be, giggling, it'd be F yeah, and giggling by Melbourne, yeah. and right, then okay. a fart. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that. That he's like, our audience is fart. They are farts. They are farts. A hundred percent. All right, we're gonna go on to our next one. It's gonna be the Nintendo cartridge is actually the best physical cartridge. The Nintendo cartridge is the best cartridge. Okay, thumbs up for me. Thumbs, thumbs up for Ricky. Thumbs up for Ricky. Thumbs down from the two tall white men over here. <laughs> Let's hear Billy first. Ch chiseled white men. <laughs> you can't forget that. <laughs> I, I just I think I think it goes to Super Nintendo. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Uh, yeah. Now uh, now just the overall design that that seventy two pin uh, pin connector gets bent a little bit because of the way you got to push it down. Now I, I understand that that's not because of the cart itself. It's the overall design of the system and the cart. But I still have to give it to. I don't know, man. Like that pushing that NES game in is 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 pretty nostalgic. But I, put, but okay. I, I I think I'm gonna go. Super if I Nintendo, said yeah. like for a logo right now, it's like, hey Billy, you do media stuff for work. If someone's like, hey Billy, we're starting a gaming retro stuff, and they're like, hey, just draw as a cartridge as our logo, and we'll put our brand in there. It, I would it, argue it, most people would put an NES well, sure. cartridge. Yeah, sure. It's kind of like the. Sure. What, what are your thoughts? I see you thinking. No, the NES cartridge is good. So what's I, your what's your glory for Super Nintendo? Well, first off, the NES cartridge, if you open it up, 80% of it is just dead space. True. So and I've seen way more broken NES cartridges than I have Super NES cartridges. They hold up a little bit better. Now, I would throw N64 in there, except there's no top label, which absolutely takes that out of the I'm, equation. Uh, what's N64. the worst cartridge? Not, not nine times out of ten, if I could try to put a Super Nintendo game in, it works. Nine works. times out of ten, yeah. with an NES game, it doesn't work. Not, I like the compactness yeah. of it, too. Ricky? It's super sturdy. I just love the way it looks when you display it. It NES? looks way too cool. Like, if you try stacking Super Nintendo, what happens? It starts sliding down. Well, you can't. sure, sure. Mm -hmm. I, you got you to do it kind of like yeah. vertic vertical. Oh, exactly. So I love stacking my games. Like I think it looks awesome. Dang, I didn't think about it like that. but that's I cool. think Nintendo takes the, the, the cake, NES, as far as just, like, physical look. Like, if I was to put one on the wall... I would want a Nintendo cartridge on there. It just feels better. It looks better. Something about the Super Nintendo. I guess if we're talking durability, you guys are probably correct. Yeah. But if we're talking just physical sexiness, I think Nintendo. Well, I mean, Atari looks pretty good too. What's what, the wait, word? Wait, what, what was the what was the original question? It's not a question. <laughs> uh, it's a statement. Oh. <laughs> wait, what was, was the worst? Nintendo the, is the, the the best cartridge. So the it's best. like the, the NES. Worst? Oh, 64 is the worst. You stack them up. There's no yeah, there's no, no label. labels. Oh, That's 64 a, yeah. is the I don't, like, I don't like Genesis, but that's just because the labels always yeah, fall off. Yeah, I would say that Genesis, Genesis is, is bad, too. The labels always, always fall off. You know off. what the problem with Genesis is, too? When you stack them up, the labels are upside down. That's true. Yeah, you know which one I hate the most, You have though. to put them reverse. Sega Master Systems one. I hate that one the most. 
That is terrible. <laughs> Let's move on. It is the worst. I love the Sega Master ca- a cartridge. I love everything Sega Master. I've never been able no to No colors to them either. They're all that one a- brown color, yeah. which is terrible. That sounds like racism. I would definitely pick the Atari's <laughs> game, label, game labels over them, dude. Oh, Easily. I, hey, so would I, cause, but it's because I'm an old... I, I'm not going to oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Fart. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Fart. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to go on to our next one. It's going to be reaction channels are considered original content. Ooh, reaction channels are original content. Down Actually, for me. I'll disagree. Quadruple no. no. Billy, you put up. Oh, Chris. No, no, no. Disagree. Disagree. You put up yours first. What's your thought? <sighs> He, he was ironic. Well, funny enough, actually, I actually listen to or I watch. Um, I got into this little rabbit hole where where like newer kids were watching like Metallica videos and reacting to them. And, and for whatever reason, I got sucked into that. And they were like, because <laughs> I can because it it's kind of fascinating to hear what like newer generations think of like older music. So I know that me sitting here and doing this kind of contradicts. I've watched what I was them too. Don't just worry. Just saying. Okay. Me too. But I know that the vast majority of uh reaction videos i've watched it's just like somebody watching oh dude that's cool what he did what yeah it's always the fake like no way bro but it's like uh. or, or or yeah or sometimes sometimes they don't even do anything they're just like dude it was literally nothing like sometimes i have seen some i have seen some where no joke they 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 just like hey 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 record a, record a video of me doing this for like 10 minutes no way. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> and they just put that on video after video after video. They're not even actually reacting to the video. Oh, yeah, they're doing... I've seen that. Like, in YouTube shorts, they'll do it, and it'll be the same reaction feed of them for 20 seconds, and they'll just layer it over multiple yes. different videos. Yes. <laughs> There's yes. been people even faking playing video games. <laughs> yes. Where they're just sitting like this, hands under the table, and just playing... Have a game play playing on the screen. Reaction yeah. content is lazy, but then you somehow figured out a way to make it lazier yeah <laughs> yeah that's the laziest form of it and i will say i myself have watched you know people here in the righteous brothers for the first time and they're like wait <laughs> yeah. a sec they're yeah. not black yeah that's I like, know, that's, like the number, that's the number one reaction you get from righteous <laughs> brothers it's that one song <laughs> you lost that love and, and it starts out dark and then the lights are on they're, like, they're not black oh damn <laughs> or unchained melody is unchained another melody. Unchained is, unchained yeah, melody yeah. Is, so like, as like oh damn they're not black oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> and we're hating over here but it is it can be entertaining yeah. but as far as original content i mean you're you're just watching somebody else's content absolutely Agreed. and so I, at, at the end of the day i'm just going to put this because it's it's lazy. It's lazy. Like yeah. it just it really is. It's finally found my channel to do. <laughs> All reactions? Uh, yeah. I've done it before too. I've done like a couple reactions like, too. I'm not gonna lie. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> be the next thing. Well, yeah, just exactly what I was saying. Record a video, just literally All the just ten minutes. Huh? What? Huh? Huh? I just put that. And just you keep have it like an <laughs> infinite number of videos you can make now. They do it. There, it's crazy because there are channels out there that just do completely AI. Oh, I know. And that's like insane to me. Like they just c- create channels, that like create channels, and they just do the same thing over and over. Yep, I've watched those videos on how to do that. Oh, I've no. never done it, but I've literally <laughs> watched those videos. Like that's possible, where you're just recreating the multi video, same video a thousand different times, like with like a slight change, and somewhere the algorithm will catch it and you'll get paid. I didn't do it, that you guys know of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go on to our next one. It's gonna be there are no hidden gems left for games. There are no hidden gems left. Agree or disagree? That it's hard. That question, yes. the reason people were all thinking is if we're all in the YouTube scene, th- they've been done so much by so many YouTubers. I would say Metal Jesus is probably the first one that really kind of popularized the hidden gems category. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I really am having a hard time with there that. There are no hidden gems left. I'm going to say I disagree. I disagree. Yeah. R- Billy has a disagree. Chris has a disagree. I have a disagree. Ricky? I feel like it is a disagree. Okay, let's hear from Ricky first. You're so quiet over there. Oh, because, dude, I always, someone always pops up a game that I never heard of, and it's always, like, gr- a great game. Especially, like, lately, it's been the Wii and the Wii U. I'm like, oh, my gosh, those are the great games. But, like, it, if you keep it going, it's like, there's a ton of games we haven't heard of. Even even Switch right now, I'm finding, like, Switch games that are amazing. I'm like, bro, I'm like, this came out two, three years ago. I never even heard of it. I'll say even for us, like being in like the Nintendo and Super Nintendo world, Genesis world, every once in a blue moon, yeah, once a year, there'll be one where I'm like, how have I never seen that Nintendo? I've never heard of this Nintendo game. 
Why has this not been on my radar? And somewhere, somehow, someone throws up some gameplay, and you're like, oh, that looks like a good game. And it's not been... I feel like the original batch of Hidden Gems was like Bucky O'Hare. Uh, right. What were some of the other ones? What were some of the well, ones that was that were a like, hidden gem for me? Because we Man. went over Bucky O'Hare recently, and I was like, I yeah. never this guy that played that it was like a week game. ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I never played that. Yeah. Well, things like Metal Storm and Metal Storm, like, yeah, Hammer and Harry, yeah, exactly. I'm with you, Ricky, though, on the Switch titles. Like, there are so many Switch games coming out right now yep. that I, you can't play them all. So, like, give it a couple of years, and you're gonna, like, people are going to come back and be like, that was an amazing game. Exactly. But I'm hearing new title Switch games all the time, and yeah. I see what, them, I'm like, what the heck is it, this? It, absolutely. I think once we're diving into the realm, too, of, like, indie developers, because that's huge now, there's just so much that's under the radar, because they're not getting the exposure. Exactly. And what's great about it is that we're getting retro-inspired games. We're getting games, like, where they're almost spiritual successors to the games that we, the classics that we grew up with, because those people grew up on those games and now they're making games. I'm curious to know what you thought of Shredder's Revenge because I thought it was amazing. Funny enough, do you remember when the trailer dropped? I texted you and I was like, you should do a reaction video. And I remember you did a reaction video and it did good. And did you do this? Oh, 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 April. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to do a reaction video one time where it's like I'm watching it like that. And I just explode. And like halfway through, halfway through it, I explode. And I'm just not there the rest of the time. Yeah, it's just part of your head bleeding yeah, yeah, out the yeah. whole time in the video plays. Yeah, I'm just, that, cause I, yeah, yes. It's a great idea. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do that. That's like, a I great idea. I just idea. thought of that right now. And you should do about like, about a game that doesn't even exist. Just something you know will get clicks. Like they remade the, they remade the Gremlins, you know. I should have done it with the the GTA Six trailer. Oh. I should have done it. Like, oh my god! Oh my god! It's Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> and then it's like it's just like a bleeding stump the whole time. The rest of the freaking trailer. Did you know that broke the record on YouTube? That trailer. I'm not surprised. It's the most viewed video in one day ever in history, beating Mr. Wow. Beast. Wow! Wow! It was almost like a hundred. We're all just a bunch million of only million or something. I can't remember. It was something stupid. We're all just a bunch of degenerates, man. Just a trailer. I'm excited. <laughs> and once everyone got to do, I didn't, even, I didn't even, to be fair, I didn't even know it was out until Gabo sent it to me. I didn't know either. He's like, this is out. I'm not going to lie. I watched the trailer and I was super bored. It was like a music montage. I didn't even watch it. Nothing happened. They played it and it was just like people walking and stuff. I'm like, what? Okay. You know, it's funny. Like, I, I love San Andreas. I played that and, you know, I'm kind of in the, in the city right now where, where it was inspired by. Which is cool, but I loved that game. Didn't really like all the other ones that came out. I didn't really like the last one that came out Fine. until until the I got into like the um, mods online stuff. Oh yeah, the on that that's when it was got fun because you can get all your friends together and just kind of like just be reckless. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and I I would just do stuff like just oh you know I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this car up and go up the mountain and then I'm gonna get my little. My little pair. I'm gonna get on a motorcycle. I'm gonna go up the mountain. Then I'm just gonna jump off the mountain with the motorcycle. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be super cool. Are you okay, Billy? No, I was like, I don't care about doing heists or anything. I just want to go up on the mountain. Billy's trying to get outside. Just going to walk. This would be I nice. Wanna, yes, absolutely. Because we don't have. I don't have mountains where I live. So. And, there, and there's literally like a mountain lion that just while he reaches the mountain. Yeah, yeah, is that a game? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's awesome. they do. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Me, me, and me and Eric would like let this last game because you'd go in. They're like at the top of the mountain, and then like there was this like certain part where there was like these weird like hieroglyph things, and me and him were just, oh, we're just sitting there online trying to figure like wait is this alien stuff? Like are they? Are that they, is are the most game chaser <laughs> thing I've ever heard. <laughs> this has got to be aliens. I listened to your guys' last one about that, by the way. It was cracking me up in my run. That was fantastic. That's funny because like literally the next one is about GTA. So oh whoa. And, and what's funny is my I bought a dune buggy, but it's like a kit car. I bought my kit car because of GTA wow. because I could steal them in San Andreas. <laughs> so, you have a problem. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, I gotta get it, dude. It's one of my favorites. All right, so this one is, uh, the creator of GTA said this, GTA is right for wanting to charge per hour for gameplay. I heard about this. Did you hear about wow. this? No. I disagree, too. No. Big disagree. Look at Billy's holding it out. Like, how is that even, like, how is there one person that would be okay with that? Yeah, I know. I don't know. Because no, we even asked Brixton, right? What did he say the other night? He was yeah, so we asked my son, right? A 13-year-old kid, right? That's the perfect person to ask. He's in the new gen. He just literally doesn't care about retro stuff. Like, he would have the most current mindset of kids playing games. And he said it in, in our studio. And Brixton, my son, looked over and he's like, what? Like, he was almost, like, flabbergasted. Who says that word? But he was just like, <laughs> what? Like, charge per hour? He's like, no way. I feel like, if anything, how... I mean, maybe it'll get people to play less games more and go outside more, which could be good, but let's, like... You're going to take away your audience from falling so deep into the game because 
I feel like you're forcing addiction at that point. Wait, so are they like no initial like cost? It's just like you just get the game and I don't. How's this? So work? basically, it like the the thought is because they put so many hours into this game oh, that they should be charging for that amount of time that they put into How it. How about you just charge up front right. whatever you think is like... Think of our YouTube yes. channels. Can we char be like, oh, we should charge people for an hour because I put my blood, sweat, and tears in this. No. Yeah. That's not how things work. In fact, YouTube's free. Help. I mean, because like... <laughs> exactly. That would be insane. Like, you just pay for 100 hours and then it's like, what if you leave the game running? Then you're... Uh, you, know, you know what's interesting about that concept, though, is like, if you think back to the arcades, like, you were going in there to pretty much pay... For your time, I mean, it was maybe lives or something, but some of the games were like you would put quarters in and then the time would run out. And then the home consoles came out like Nintendo and stuff. And all of a sudden that was gone. That's why the arcades yeah. almost died. Yeah. But also so it's almost like bringing that back. But think the arcades too. Not are that I agree with that. I don't <laughs> like it. Either, I don't either. But, but no. the huge difference here with that and let's say a game like GTA 6, right? Say you do waste a crap ton of money playing per hour, air quotes for audio listeners, right? For an arcade game. There's an eventual end. Like you beat it. Pretty you kind of can get through it. Might cost you maybe even a hundred bucks. Let's say the hardest game, but GTA is an open world sandbox game where they're like, you're asking to jack up people's their their money, their finances. You're asking for kids to beg their parents, and you know, just you're going too far because there's no end necessarily in so, a game like GTA. Because yeah, because this has been in development what for what? Like it's got to have been at this and, point like six or seven years, and it's still two more years out, probably longer. Wow. I think GTA Six has almost been like ten plus years now, or GTA Five. GTA Five was yeah, I think it's like a decade. It's been crazy how long yeah, that's, been on that game. Gosh, that's crazy. I hate the idea so much though, because they, Call of Duty would follow suit then too. Everybody, a lot of these. So games I would think that suit. to supplement that stuff, like if people like, I'm not a big fan of microtransactions, but if you really feel like you need to put in things to generate money, microtransactions. Put in but things at least that people you have can a choice buy. though with that. Like with yeah, the yeah. time, then you don't have a choice, right? Or right. just hey, look, just charge more for it. Yeah. Just charge more for it. If when you know we, it's a massive. When we were growing up, games were different prices. They were. Oh I yeah. I think I heard that they were, were like going to bucks back then, and that's a lot so for did, back in the day. Did anyone else that's hear that they were going to charge one hundred and fifty bucks for GTA Six? No, I don't. I didn't. Hear I heard that, that but... actually. I heard that it was going to be one hundred and fifty bucks, and I actually was like, "Shoot, I'll pay. I'll pay it." Imagine if they charge one hundred and fifty <laughs> bucks and then per hour. Yeah, but I mean, like, but, but, don't <laughs> think about it. That you guys even back then paid for retro games about that price. That's that's if you adjust for inflation, one hundred and fifty dollars. Do you for remember what games, yes. you were paying for Atari games back in the day? I remember. I used to go to Bradley's and they were like 40, 50 mm -hmm. bucks then for an Atari game. Yeah, so which is which is equates to 80, oh, 90 bucks, okay, now, 100 bucks now. Now here's yeah. a throw a wrench into the spoke because I have no other thing to say. If <laughs> if you pay, right, we're in modern games, retro games. The, the thing yeah. is most of those games, well, at least the popular ones, like a GTA 6 would be compared to a Mario World, right? Like it's the big game of the time. Mario World is complete and running perfectly. Say you're paying per hour GTA 6 and you run into a bug for 45 minutes where you're th Ooh. things and you're like, dude, I, this isn't fair. I'm paying for this hour and it's modern times. Oh, that was a bug. It's not fixed. Sorry. Do you get your money back for that hour? How's it work? How do you prove it? I feel like there's so much that can fall into this or a kid like Curtis says is five years old and he turns on his dad consoles turn on now if you tell him to turn on. Hey, Xbox on, PlayStation, whatever. It turns on, it's running for four hours. So, or, so where did this come from, this this idea of them charging? Uh, it was more of just like one of the creators of GTA made that statement. Yeah, I just right? don't see how that's logistically possible because of what you just said. Gosh, that's what I would, no, but I think it was more of them just saying Literally. it because of the fact that they put so much time in, they felt the need to say that. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, I don't think that they could. I don't think that they I, I think it's just blowing smoke, you know? Yeah. I would hate it so much as well because a lot of times now I fall asleep playing video games. Yo, no. <laughs> Literally with the controller in my hand. Yo, you're Must gonna not fall asleep. <laughs> Yo, he's going to get roasted running. in the comments. Chris is just falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old man Chris. Uh, honey, I owe $100 on GTA. <laughs> oh, the card was just running. Hey, when, when my son was uh, probably like three back in the day, I had a game on, like a mobile game. And it wasn't his game. He doesn't have a tablet, but he was by my thing. And all of a sudden, I get a call and it's from like Google Play. And they're like, there's been like 10 grand charged on your card in the last hour. My son was just clicking the chest button just because he was bored. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, look. 
we gave, they gave us all our money back. But just saying, in situations like that, you run into so much, you know, with it's, that. Yeah, and there's so many headache. stories of that too, with like kids grabbing their parents' phone and just yeah. buying. I all still those don't want my kids use my phone. That's why. Yeah. Dude, you were probably like this with them right after. I pulled a Homer Simpson on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All, all right, right we're, we're gonna go into our next topic. It's gonna be the importance of physical media. Oh, we can put these down now. Now we're bringing up this topic because I mean, obviously, you have a big role in producing your own movie and also a new one that's coming out soon. Um, kind of give us the background of like what it kind of takes to go into creating your physical media, like Blu-ray. Yeah, man. Is it simple? Is it easy? Uh, no, I know no. It, it's, it, well, um, on my end, no. Um, the, the the problem is is that uh, physical media has become so niche. A lot of the companies that would you know have have uh, plants that would do them, they're they're, they're they've stopped doing it. Um, they've come they become too niche and more expensive because well it's just it's more of like a as I said a niche thing I've, I've said niche like five or six times keep now, it going let's keep yeah, going we'll yeah. keep going um, at least you're not cussing no <laughs> <Yeah>. so, <laughs> so <laughs> right niche, right, niche, right. Niche, <laughs> niche. <laughs> yeah so so yeah. um no uh when we do the physical like we I I have like some some Blu-rays being manufactured right now they're they're not even in the country mm. they're outside of the country. I wish I don't even know where because the 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 company that I go with um, we've been doing DVDs and Blu-rays with him for like ten years now. Mm. He's uh, he ha he hasn't told me, but I uh, but he has, <laughs> he actually has to outsource that stuff now because there used to be a plant in Texas that did it, and it, it's just it's a, they don't do it anymore yeah. because so many people just digital 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 Blu-ray sales drop and physical media sales drop so plants that make them drop drop yeah so that's why, why do you think it's like it. the, the like why do you think there's such an importance on like maintaining physical media oh well because me uh for me i like i i don't feel like i own anything until i actually own it like mm -hmm. i have it in my hands like i have a huge physical media collection with games and movies as well yeah. Uh, all my favorite movies, um, or even things that like I just kind of like I want to like if I, I'm like this is kind of like a blind buy I don't I've never seen it but you know I want to check it out I, I oftentimes just go ahead and get it on Blu-ray physically because the amount that you spend on digital just to rent it or buy it you can just put that towards just owning it, owning it anyway so I'm like whatever I'll just I'll just buy it and um, I think that's important for mul multitude of reasons. I mean, what just happened with Sony? You know, they're taking yeah. you know your the things that you bought with your money, and they're saying, "Oh, bye." Yeah, and and they're saying basically to the the way the only to play those games is to purchase the physical media, right? And like, yeah, that's kind of insane. Like, you got to buy the game twice just yep. to play it, and and that's ridiculous. But also like. Uh, for me, like I, I'm a big proponent of not. I'm, can I use my first cuss word right, yeah. right here? You have, Go you have, it. you okay. have three for the podcast. Okay, okay, I have three. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. So I'm a big proponent of not <laughs> with art. <laughs> so. Sounded so like oh, that yeah. was a big one. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> kidding. So yeah, too many, too many companies are teetering on the edge of like we're going to edit these movies. Because we think that people are going to be offended by them now. Oh, gosh. And so we can't, we, I'm sorry, no, stop. Yes. Um, I can't stop it. I can't stop Disney from being. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, was that my second? That doesn't yeah, count. It, it, okay. it doesn't count because I firmly agree. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what I can do is make sure that, like, I help preserve it in a way. Um, so. As, as as cheesy as that might sound, and 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 I'm not, I'm not I don't look at myself as some sort of library of movies, but if it's something that I want to own and I and I'm like you know I appreciate this movie, mm -hmm. I I think it's a special thing, I enjoy it, and I think it's it's um it's something that just kind of should be preserved, you know I'll own it physically, and Ooh. nobody can mess with that. Is there one that scares you more than the other, like the video game side of everything going digital or the movie side of going digital? The or? movie side, because... Really? Yeah, I mean, because... I mean, you look at some of the classic movies. Um, I mean, look, you, AMC, you know, um, uh, American Movie Classics, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll put a movie up and they'll say, like, a content warning... You know, they'll yes. they'll say, "Hey, you know, uh, sorry, but this 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 thing has something that might make you offended because you're, a 
Yeah. So um, <laughs> it, and, I, I didn't even know about that, to be honest. And the other day I turned on a show yeah. and it gave me a warning and it was like for something so dumb. And I was like, exactly. you're just making people be offended at Ex this point. I feel like you're trying to make people exactly. hurt. Exactly. Exactly. It was like the dumbest thing. Too. I couldn't remember what it was, but I was like, I had to like search for it. Like, Is that the yeah. thing that was supposed it, it, to be Yeah, right, right. And, and so like once you start going down that route... How at what point do you start going towards like well you know we're just just not gonna even take the chance let's just get the TV edited version of this or just like whatever is it? we're we'll pretend like that movie doesn't even exist anymore you know because um, I think we're you know in, in a way we're in the, in an age of almost like a book burning age yeah to where but instead of book burning you're 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 throwing out all the old yeah um, art the art. And because it's it, it doesn't fit with your sensibilities, and I think that's just a very dangerous thing. And so I would say that is more important. That's just you know overall um, a more important issue with society as opposed to just like oh I want to play that game, but it's only it's only a digital and they took it off. That sucks. And do you think that video games though will go another PS Five right? Where PS Five, Xbox, what Series X, PS Six? Do you think digital will be the only option? Do you yes, think we have absolutely. another generation? Do you think this is the final frontier? Mm -hmm. I, I feel like that in most senses, like I feel for console generation, yes. I don't think Nintendo will though. Mm. I honestly think Nintendo will stick with the physical but also have their digital. I hope so. What are they doing again this time? <laughs> Nintendo's wild, bro. Yeah. NES cart, think about it. NES cart, Super Nintendo cart, and 64 cart. DS. DS. We got Wii, right? No, we got GameCube small little discs, mm -hmm. then regular discs, and then now the Switch back to little carts. So I feel like they could go any direction. Whatever they do with the Switch too, I just hope it's backward, uh, backwards compatible. I want to be able to play my Switch games. On do do we want a Switch too, or do we just want new console? Whatever it is, mm. whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, that would be nice. Allow it to play those 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 cards. I feel like Switch Two title scares me because it reminds me of Wii Wii U. Right, it reminds me of like people not being excited to go buy it. I, I yeah, but I don't. Is that a? I don't think that's a term that they come up with. That's just a term that we've come up with. Though. The internet. Yeah, the internet's come. Up I don't with think that too. that's not. They'll probably call it you know the Nintendo um, gobbledygook. I don't know for whatever. But <laughs> you know, uh, what's your actual guess? Give me a guess right now. You're Nintendo, uh, Billy. We need you to come name the uh, next Nintendo console. Uh, the Nintendo Taint. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I like it. Chris, what, yeah. what do you think they're going to call it? Oh, man, I don't know. I think Nintendo Galaxy. Sounds Nintendo good Galaxy. Thing. I'm going to say Nintendo Edge. Ooh. I, they're going to stick with Switch. They're just going to go the, the Ultra Switch. Ooh, the Ultra Switch. <laughs> yes, Chris. Me? You want me to go? Yeah, I want you. They're just going to go with Nintendo Switch 2. That's oh, all they're going to oh, do. <laughs> Nintendo <true>. Switch U. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Switch U. Uh, I, I guess, like, um, with, you know, kind of going back to the physical media part, what are some of the drawbacks you think that come from producing your own movie, like, for physical media? Aspect? Also, you had a question, too, after we'll get to. With the drawbacks? Yeah. Um, for producing physical. Physical, yes. I, I really can't think of any. Costs, maybe? Costs. Well, I mean, sure, costs. How about, like, but, the but, like, processing but, raw footage and all that so stuff? The, the problem we've run into is that we took the money and ran uh, to do the... <laughs> to do the Wait, what? <laughs> 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 we took... The, the problem with us is we took the money in to do the, the physical media, and then yeah. COVID hit, and then inflation hit, and now that doesn't pay for it all. Mm -hmm. um, but usually the you know the the find out it, it, it covers itself you know once you 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 sell all the physical media mm. um, the only thing I mean I, I guess the only thing that I could really think of if I really tried to push it is is she couldn't update it mm. you know if there's there's something like oh mm. oh sh that's my third one, isn't that's it? That's it. You're, you're out. You're you're out. out. That you're counts as one, too. That's four. Oh, dang. I'm, I'm <laughs> no, just saying. No, I said dang. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to you over here. This whole segment, <laughs> I'm just tossing it. No, dang. I'm kidding. Uh, no, you can't update it. So if there's that piece of, uh, like, I, I wish I, I wish I would have included that on the on the Blu-ray. You, you could turn Yoda CG. <laughs> no. <laughs> never turn anything CG. Um no, if there's a, if, that, if there's that one piece of like that deleted scene or that director's commentary or just whatever, but then you get to re-release it at a higher price. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the super box set. Yeah, yeah, the super box. Set. Do you um, do the editing for your movies? I do. That's I do. Sweet. I remember. Which one takes so long? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Billy. 
You had a what? question. Well, no, I was just to comment on the physical media. Like I, I feel like it's, um, it's important to, the customer, like us being the consumer, like the physical is much more important than to us. I feel like, like the companies, like they don't have the cost. They can just release it digitally. They control it. They own it. They want to turn it off. It's really us as consumers that need to be like, no, we want to own it. But if those companies decide that they want to just release everything digital, I don't know what say we have in it, unfortunately, which is kind of like, unless we just say, well, we're not going to buy it digitally then unless you release it physically. Now, but that, I don't know that enough people would do that. Yeah. Would, would that come down to would. like uh, maybe like a third party outside of Nintendo, the people who are like the developers are creating like those games? Do you think it, it lies on them to produce it? I mean, it does open up maybe a market for like kind of like what Limited Run Games has done and um, premium edition limited. games where you're taking that digital content and putting it on physical. If you can get the rights to do that, though, but then somebody has to go and purchase the rights and stuff. But you can obviously see why these, you know, Sony and Nintendo would be motivated to just say, well, we'll just release it digitally. We can sell just as much. We don't have to print it. And then, you know, we want to turn the spigot off on that. We're done with it. Adios. See ya. But for us as the consumer, then, like, we have no control over that stuff. That's true. Which, it? if we, you know, you bought a physical game, you own it, you can sell it, yep. uh, you can collect it, you can do all those things. Those are advantages to us, but not advantages to Sony. Mm, no, it's like the don't. new generation. That's what they're, they like the fast everything, but they don't understand it. They're like, dude. They don't understand that you lose all the value. And on top of that, they're still charging you the same price, yet they don't have to do any of that extra work. They don't have work. to do anything. So and why they can not knock it off $10? No. And they can charge yeah. add-ons to it. So I think we're in like that weird conundrum where like those companies are kind of like, well, do pe consumers care? Do they not care? It's all they're started feeling because us they, got rid they made a TV remote. People a started to not want to get off the couch. <laughs> if, you, if, you talk, if you think about it, like if, if a GTA 6 right now, yeah. if they said, if they said, hey, you know what, um, we're not going to release this on disc. Sorry, guys. How how do you think that would like affect their sales? I don't think it would affect their sales None. at all. None. It, yeah. I think it's just certain games, though, right? Like, I mean, GTA, it was one, the, one of the most selling games ever. Yeah. And, right? and, yeah, five. and the, the, you know, you would have a percentage of people that say, hey, I'm not going to I'm not going to get this because it's not on disc. I think that that would be a tiny, tiny a, bit. One percent, if that. Right. That tiny, tiny bit. All right. Now, is it worth just screwing over those people now that you don't have to actually take this and make physical discs? You don't have to take this to the manufacturer and, and make and press physical discs because it's not like, again, as you were saying, it's not like you're paying more or they're charging more for the yeah. physical disc. They're not making up that cost. They're not charging, you know, a hundred bucks to buy it physically. And so it makes up the cost of having them made physically. It's a wash. It's still the same price. So that's hard, I, it's, it's, right? it's, there's going to be a matter. There's going to be a point where I think there's going to be a, a company that's just like, you know what, screw it. We're just going to do this digitally. Man, that yeah. Maybe Agreed. it might be. It might be next one. It might be GTA 6. I feel like that's very <laughs> difficult, though, because it's like, I feel like you can only do that if you know that you're going to have that hype, right? And they, they, have, they do. They have that hype. They have but the hype. As like companies like Nintendo, Sony, and they're shutting down their console online stores, do you think that might push younger generations to want to go towards physical media? I don't know who's shutting, they're shutting down stores. I don't even know. No, yeah, PlayStation is trying to shut down their 3DS online store. 3DS store, I think, just shut down. The, the Wii U store is trying to shut down. I just, I just signed up for premium. <laughs> oh, no. But I mean, like, do you think like 180? Do you think that might like put an importance on physical media for younger generations that are coming up? Through I mean, I know typically in the world things go in waves, but I don't know if that will. I don't think so because they're not nostalgic for nostalgic for it now. They yeah, didn't they didn't grow up with it. So yeah, twenty years from now, yes. Yeah, but 20, I, hours, twenty years from now, when they want to play that game and it's not on physical media, then it's gonna be they're gonna be like, oh, f oh, sorry. That was, good. Oh, so that was that was like a that was like a, that was like a yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that was like Mike Mike Tyson yeah the Jar Jar Binks <laughs> <laughs> but they're but but yeah but they're not going to they're gonna they're gonna but but right now they're probably like. Eh. Whatever, I played that. I don't care. They don't have that nostalgia. Yeah. You know, the only w one thing that maybe you could gauge it is I wonder with the sales of consoles for like the Microsoft X Series X versus S, I wonder what has sold more. 
I don't know. I don't know that number or the disc version of PS5 ben, versus the <laughs> yeah, I don't know versus the download X versus X. and I'm sure they're looking at that numbers and I wonder if they go well geez we're still selling a lot of console you know disc based versions because I know from my store perspective when we get an S in versus an X obviously the S is digital only the X plays disc everybody still does want more people want the X. disc yeah. version. Well, if you go to, I mean, the best way to think of that is if you go to any Target right now or Best Buy, whatever, you can buy an S. You can't buy an X. Yeah. So, I haven't seen an X in years. So I guess that's the only way still right now before they're just like, well, we don't even have that option anymore. We're Hopefully they're seeing those numbers and going, oh, okay, people still do like the physical version of this. Maybe and, it's, you hope. And on top of that, like, you know, your, your console can only store so much. So... When you um, get like ten games, even right now a console, if you store ten games, it's like all, you're pushing it. Oh yeah, yeah. So the, the you can only do all, you yeah. can only give so much storage. So I'm like, dude, I'm like, what? I have to delete my other games just so I can get that. My brain doesn't understand tech very well at all, but it does boggle my mind that you know back in the day, Super Nintendo, you can buy as many games as you want, pop it in and play. Yeah. But even on PlayStation, you put the disc in, puts all this information in your system. You take it out and it's still in there, and it's like, oh, you can only do like six more of these, and it's yeah. like, wait, yep. what? Like, uh, but the disc isn't in there anymore. Why is it still taking up so much room? You got to. There's nothing worse than having to delete things in order to play again. And you're like, what? I feel like it just it does doesn't feel right. So, so it makes the point of like, why even like almost like why even bother with physical media if it's because like if you some a lot of games where it's like you know what whatever 45 gigs or whatever you put it in it, it's just like you know what it's just faster if we read this from the hard drive. So we're gonna download it and put it on the hard drive. And, and and not even read it from the disc because you know optical media is slower, yeah. And so it makes it yeah. It almost makes it it it. it I mean, it, it kind of is obsolete, really. I mean, physical disc drives are obsolete when it comes to. The, that's why the Switch or Nintendo went to the Switch the optic the um the uh, the the, the uh, SD cards. Yep. Because they're just they're quicker and they they store and more I, memory. Yeah. I and it. I think that's what's gonna probably maintain over time is because. I was just talking about my coworker today who I didn't even know play video games. He said that like him and his wife play Switch. Even like when they're traveling, they take their little cartridge and they just put it in. And I feel like having that availability because you can't really get data on a drive, right? Yeah. You're still going to need a physical game to play it. But since they have put pretty much made their console dynamic to where it can go on the go and it's still an enjoyable experience, that I feel like they're the ones that are probably going to keep creating the market for what's going to be coming. Because, I mean, we know that developers like Grand Theft Auto, they're going to thrive. They have that hype. They've had the, the influencer hype behind it. And I, I can see that being the only online thing. Even Call of Duty is, is one of those titles that people are either going to buy it or they're going to hate it. You know what I mean? So I feel like Nintendo might be the one that might push us through. You know? I, I think so, too. And another reason is, is Nintendo still does a lot of collector sets. I love that. Physical collectors, like big box kind of things. I don't, I don't see Sony and uh, Microsoft really doing much of those. With Xbox 360, they did a million of them. Huge statues. Of statues. You find them yeah. all, the time. all the different things you got with it. And I can't even remember the last time. I don't think I've seen a PS5 version of anything PS4 like that. is it? Yeah, PS4 Mortal Kombat some. does it. Mortal Kombat did it for PS4. Did they come out with a collector set? Yeah, they came out with the, the helmet. The, remember that That's blue PS4. helmet? Uh, yeah, but I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, in general, like, through the consoles, they do come out with, like, limit of like statues still for it which you have to have the game with it i couldn't see them just being like here's a step maybe yeah. they could basically this statue, is what they give you they give you a hard case that, or a steel case is what they call it and then they go all okay, right here's your game in it and then here's the downloadable code yeah a lot of that is especially with like rpgs oh yeah RPG collectors love that. Oh, yeah. They love the statues. Booklets and yeah. statues. Final Fantasy does a great job of that type of stuff. I'm still salty that they didn't do Mario RPG <sighs> as a new Switch game as yeah. a collector's. I purposely didn't yeah. buy it yet because I was like, I think they're going to make something for it, but they didn't. So now, I think I just have to buy now it. when you worked at Blockbuster, are, is there any like really like fun or cool stories that you have like that, you know? <laughs> You want oh, to talk about? He has one in his can right now. He's debating. He's debating if he can say it. <laughs> I, no, I definitely can't tell you this. Story. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was funny. That was, the, that was the first one that popped in my head. Was the first was the one that I can't say. Of course, it was it involved purchasing undergarments. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> That's a um, no. Uh, I, I, first thing that popped in my or second thing that popped in my head. Um, 
we used to like, you know, it would be the crew, me, Jay and Rufus and uh, Rob a lot of times. Uh, not this particular time. Um, he he was going to come in the next day. But what we would do, like we were so dumb. I don't even understand why we would do this, but we were just like, I think clerks, but worse. Uh. Like we would. <laughs> <laughs> and we were really like super into wrestling. So like. You know, for uh, just a little backstory, you know, Blockbuster would close at 12 o'clock at midnight. Yep. yep. And um, oftentimes we would have, uh, you know, people still returning movies and try to get them in before that little, you know, 12 o'clock cutoff. Sometimes yep. they'd make it, sometimes they weren't, wouldn't. But uh, for maybe like a good one to two hours after midnight, it was the store cleanup time. So we would have to take all the movies that people had just turned in, put them up on the wall, vacuum all the janitorial stuff, and just make sure, you know, managers would count the money and make sure nobody was stealing shit. You're good. No, you, just <laughs> six. you just doubled down. <laughs> You're fine. Honestly, hey, 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 this hey, whole segment, right. hey, it's just... Poor Curtis. <laughs> I'm they just going to have to go through it with a... <laughs> A comb. Mega Man sound effects. What sound effect would you like over your language? Would you like what? What from what game? Uh, the Mario Three Coin. Okay, Mario yeah. Three. You got Mario Three. You're gonna have to a, send a me a little bit. That's a classic. <laughs> all right, back uh, to it. Yeah. So, um, we we were all into wrestling, and I don't understand what why we thought this was a good idea. Yeah. But we decided to uh, go into the back closet, and what you know what they would off, often do is. The new movies that were supposed to be put out for new releases the following week, they would send us beforehand. You know, you got to get them beforehand. You can't get them the day of release and try to put them up on the shelf. That's just dumb. <laughs> so we would get them, you know, a week in, you know, week before. It would be the VHSs mm. in the in the, uh, the the shells, and then like also like the the cover, like the 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 cardboards that would you know, you'd put in. You know, if you remember Blockbuster, you know, you would have the cardboard sleeve, yeah. and then behind it all the little clamshells that you could rent. Yep. So. We have the movies in these boxes, the new releases that were like probably maybe it was something like Titanic or like um, uh, Macbeth. I don't know. I don't. I, I, Macbeth. I don't know. <laughs> he wouldn't even further back. Was, even was thinking about this in the forties. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that one Drew Barrymore, Drew Barrymore movie, and then like Star Trek Insurrection. That was another big one. But anyway, yeah, we would have these in the closet. <laughs> and the, 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 all like, we heard is Star <laughs> Trek erection. <laughs> all of us heard erection. <laughs> Star Trek <coughs> erection. <Yeah. laughs> um, but but we, we're like, you know, we didn't have anything to do this night. I guess it was just like a slow night, and we're like, you know what? We want to wrestle, but we don't have a ring. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we took, like I said, I have no idea why we thought this was a good idea, but we took those boxes the 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 big boxes that were full of the new releases, drugged them out of the closet, made a ring. So the ring is those giant boxes full of the new releases. Let's and go. And we're just suplexing each other onto these boxes, crushing On the boxes? them onto the boxes, crushing them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you were gonna say you made a ring around you guys and just use it no, as the ring, not as your landing the, pad. I mean, because you can't suplex somebody on the concrete. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's it's carpeted, but sure, underneath it's, it's pretty much it's concrete. concrete. Yeah. No, we needed some cushion, so we thought the best thing to do was get the new releases. So we did that, and we just crushed the hell out of them. Did you guys get in trouble? Well, kind of, because Rob, you know, the guy who's on our channel now, he 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 was the manager that came in the next day, and he was like, he was like. He goes into the club because we put them all back. He's like, why is all the new releases crushed? <laughs> <laughs> the guy that was shipping them did a horrible job. <laughs> That's awesome. And then for some reason, somebody confessed. Somebody confessed. It was like, oh, uh, we were uh, using them as a wrestling ring. What? <laughs> <laughs> he that was so awesome. mad. So, yeah, we had to put, like, the new releases up on the shelf that were just, like, the, the crushed in and stuff. Like, I, I don't. Understand why we did that? How but old we did is it. the question? Oh, probably like thirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, you know, it's twenty-five. That's 24. still pretty old, Billy. <laughs> no, no, 23, 22. He's just gonna keep going. So 21. Can... I was gonna give you like at like 17. <laughs> what character were you? I always was Sting. Like I even dressed up as Sting. Uh, like like randomly. So not Halloween. Not any reason for it. I just, I, I went out and got like a trench coat, a black trench coat. I got paint, 
I painted myself up as thing. I had somewhat long hair. It wasn't till it wasn't like really long, but it was somewhat long. I, I dyed it black. And I just worked the entire night as Sting for no reason amazing. whatsoever. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. That is awesome. and, and this one kid, this one kid came in. Actually, oh, and I had the baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> I and, love it. And this one kid came in. He's like, wow, Sting? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, you haven't seen Hogan, have you? And he was totally. <laughs> That's awesome. He was 100 perfect percent convinced I was the real sting. That is so cool That's that you even, let let him leave thinking yeah. he met Sting there. I love That's that. That's a freaking <laughs> awesome one to end on. All right, we're going to go on to our next topic. It's going to be ranking NES games. Ooh, Black, box. Black Box. Black Box. Black Box NES games. Billy, have you ever done a tier list? S is best, F is worst? No. I've, I've watched a lot of them, but I have not done one. So before. you know the rules. I know. Yeah. Billy, since you're the guest, why don't you pick a number between 1 and 10? 4. I mean, he does do a lot of ranking on the channel. Like on Fridays, you do like rank a game, right? I do. I do a lot of that stuff. Yeah. So oh, it's Friday. He, he I've, actually, uh, I've actually yeah. done something black box, but it's so f it's so far removed from now. I don't remember what okay, it was. Good. And to make it clear to everybody, yes, I think there's 30 black box games. We're not doing 30 black box. That would take us like an hour and a half. I'm gonna let you old heads take a uh, charge on this one. Yeah, so. Curtis doesn't play this stuff. <laughs> that doesn't look like Fortnite. All right, Balloon Fight is the first one we pulled up. Billy, let's hear it. Rank it and why. B. B. Why? It's fun, but for like 10 minutes. Mm. It, do, it doesn't have any sort of like lasting sort of uh, appeal to me. Longevity for you. Exactly. Christoph? Yeah. I've only played it a couple times. It was pretty fun. But uh oh, it was, is this going to be one of those lists where you're like, I haven't really played it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've played a lot of these. This one, um, but for the same reason Billy said. I think I played it and I was like, oh, this is a pretty cool game. And for 10 minutes, and then I never played it again. Oh, okay. So I'd give it a C. C. Ricky. I didn't play it that much either. I'm going to give it a... Give it what you want, bro. I'm give it a D. Ricky hates what it. What the... Sh yeah. Whoa, that's a really good game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go... I go... I, I, I want to say more. Uh, I'm going to go a C as well. I want to say B. I do like like the bouncing mechanics. It kind of reminds me of Joust. How you kind of like... Beep, 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 beep. But I'd say I'm more in love with the music of it. Do we, do we factor in if it was two players or not? Because I think if it's two players, it's higher. Yeah, I mean, that's most mm. games, though, right? I mean, yeah. most games you can factor in a little Well, not higher. Contra, because or Battletoads. Oh, my God. Well, that's just, that's not fair. Yeah. So you went D, C, C, B. That's a what? That's a good... C. That's a good C, C moment. That's not a good rating. I'm sorry, Black Box fans out there. I almost feel bad. I'm sorry. Don't feel bad, Ricky. You know what you want to do instead? Talk about this game. Ooh, Kung, Fu Kung Fu. Mm. Billy took a deep breath, but Ricky, I want to hear you, bro. Ooh, I, used, I used to love this back in the day, but honestly, it's. I played it again. It's probably more of a. Be real, bro. All right. It's more of a C nowadays. <laughs> it's, it's very repetitive. Very repetitive, but I didn't notice it as a kid until I played it again. I was like, wow, this I, is. I feel like this list is going to be hard. These black box games, a lot of them don't play well going back to them. I know. I'm going another C. I do like Kung Fu, though. I will say I like it, but I'm just thinking of would I want to go back and play it for the next yeah, 30 is, minutes. Is yeah. our mindset now or back in the day? It, it has yeah, to be now. Exactly. Yeah. Because back then, everything's going to be an A, right? Half of them are going to be S's if you do. But I'm just going real C. Billy or Chris? I want to look what else is on the list. Oh, you want to see what else is on the list before you rank it? You don't want to skew it too high? No, that's, that's actually funny because I was thinking like... I know a lot I'll, I'll be, with the, when it comes to a lot, a lot of the bad. I put all the ones game, you know. I, 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 I would put that as an A. Kung Fu. Oh. Yeah, I would. And it's kind of a contradiction because, like, after 10 minutes, you're kind of done with it. But, man, it's so the nostalgia I have with Kung Fu. Heavy. And it, I'm just comparing it to, to a lot of, like, black box games, that, which they're not good. And I, I, because of that, I'm going to put it as, as an A. Hey, I like that. It's a great explanation, actually. I had to look what else there was. Cause, That's but, cheating, Chris. Because <laughs> there are some other good black box games. But honestly, in my opinion, this is actually an S for me. I Whoa. really love Kung Fu. Um, I actually was talking about this recently because somebody was saying how good Karate Kid was for the NES. Kung Fu, in my opinion, was way better than Karate Kid, first off. But I also have fond memories of this when I was a kid going over to one of my best friend's house. And I can still picture like it was yesterday. I, maybe he only had this game and maybe Duck Hunt. Like he had two games Everybody at his house. Duck Hunt. Yeah. And so we just always played this game. And I, I 
probably beat this game 10 wow. different times. But I loved the little, like, I'm just glad you beat the game. <laughs> <laughs> I loved all the mechanisms of it, and uh, it just got harder as you progressed. I think there was five levels to it. Could it in Karate Kid, though, you do, like, the ice... Yeah, thing, and also and like the, the, the fly, thing the fly that, thing. Yeah. But he had the little kick too, the little thing, and I, it depended on what was coming at you. I do like the sweep kick on this game. Yeah, the sweep kick. Yeah. So I, to me, it is an S. I love this game. Yeah, wow. it's totally like just um, it's it's just a memorization game. Like yes. once you memorize where everything is. Yeah, like the yeah, snake dropping exactly. and the yeah. whatever I think else that puts it was. around like a B, mid B because high B because Ricky and I were a lot lower. But yeah, all right, here we'll go to we'll go to one that we'll, we'll, I'll I'll shoot Popeye. Ricky, Popeye. I re- I I like Popeye. I like I like it. I'm gonna put that one at a B. I actually really enjoyed this game back in the day. So even, I, even now, I'm looking at the rest of the black box, and I I do think of these. This would be my S. Wow. Nice. I love the Popeye game. I think it's oh. far superior than like a Donkey Kong style game, anything like that. I don't know if I played it more necessarily, but I definitely enjoy this game. Like right now, if I had to pick one of these games, that's the game I'm going back to. Is Popeye? Now you're not. Con- now you're not basing that more off of the arcade, are you? No, 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 no. Okay. Any, I, I actually only played it NES. Okay. I don't think I've only played it arcade. Was the arcade different than the NES version? I thought it wasn't. I, maybe it is. I think it's it's roughly the same. I mean, it's pretty much the same game. Yes. I'm not. I, I'm sure there's some slight differences with the NES version, but like off the top of my head, I can't think of what it is. And it's pretty much just Donkey Kong, pretty much, right? It's better. Yeah, but it's the same thing. You got to get to the top. And Yeah, but it doesn't. I don't know. You feel like I feel like what what I like about it is and I feel like in Donkey Kong, there's so much to get to the top that I don't like how Mario feels so small. I like on this that you're like level playing field, your size with like Brutus or whatever. I always forget his name. Is it Brutus or Bluto? I always called it Bluto. Bluto. See, maybe. I don't. Pluto. Ricky, what was it? You know? Pluto. You guys got me confused. <laughs> <That's>, whatever. <laughs> I like that their sprites are all kind of similar size. It's my more style. So that was Brutus. Billy? Skeletor. Skeletor. I like his voice. Uh, no, I would put uh, I'd put it as a as a as a B. Like I I like it. Um, I, li- I, I like it. <laughs> you know what's funny? A lot of these black games, black bait, black bait. <laughs> <Racist. dot> <laughs> <laughs> that counts as a strike, too. <laughs> uh, you're good, though. Something about these black games really Please bother me. Please edit that. <laughs> uh, something about these black box games, like, uh, it, it's funny because it's like after about 5, 10 minutes or 15 minutes with it, you're, you're kind of done. So it's kind of, I'm thinking like, judge it by that. Yeah. Uh, no, I'd, I'd, I'd put it at a, at a B. It's a, it's a good game. It is interesting. I feel like yeah. we are all more quiet in this ranking for once because I feel like we're all really thinking or almost like our brains think they're better until we see them all. We're like, oh, it's not yeah. really, they're not really the best games. <laughs> I, I've only played like two of them. What did you go, Rick? <laughs> B. B? B. I went S. What'd you, you do? You seed my S. Okay. You see? I think I'm going to go C. Okay. Billy, what was yours? <laughs> my, Drag mine, it down. Mine, mine was B. I think it's right around the same as Kung Fu. All right. All right. We'll, we'll mix it up. Excite Bike. I I want to say A because I played it so much. It's one of those games when people are like, did you play the Nintendo as a kid? And you're like, heck yeah, dude. I always played Excite Bike. It sucks. I don't like it. I played it recently. I. Over it within two speed ups. I overpower. Oh, what is it called? Overcharged my motorcycle. Overheat it. Overheat it. And I was like, I'm done. I'm a solid D. Even though as a kid, I would have said S plus. D. Solid A, bro. Really? Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. You have to you have to think about this one. How, how Which one you use B or A to go because you'll overheat yourself. But I used to love it. Actually, I still kind of love it. Well, that's the, that's the point. <laughs> that's All right. So, so you say A? I say A on this one. A. I love it. What did I say? F? F D. <laughs> I said D. That's right for D. No. Okay, w. I'm gonna go S on this one as well. I absolutely love this game. If you get the timing down yes. and you're not overheating, it is really one of the funnest like games. And you get the whole jumping and everything. Um, I also love building my own tracks. Was incredible. Like I, I just loved it. I would. The music was awesome. The music was so good. So to me, it's an S. I played the heck out of this game. I love it. This is such a decisive. Divisive game. Um, I'm gonna go with D. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, um, too, yeah uh, oh man. Um, you know what? No, I'm gonna go C. 
Okay, I'm so. going to because again, I'm thinking like some of the other black box games that I would definitely put it to D. I'm going to go with C on that one. Now it's it's a it's fine, but like I just don't have a whole lot of fun with it. Uh, I've actually played it um, in a player uh, choice ten with the joystick, and I've, I thought I liked it a lot better than playing on the NES control. Interesting, pad. yeah, that's interesting. Actually, I like that. I Let's feel like it's because you have to press the uh, the buttons on the con like the actual pads a little harder. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. What did, what did you went D D and then I was S A? It might be lower than where you have it then. Huh? I think it's right. It's, I think it's. Chris is I think like, it's about no, the same. Drag it down, it's at, dude. But maybe it's maybe it's, it's probably right. With you. Thank you, Chris, right for being honest. Yeah. Honesty is important. Uh, <laughs> now, the game. This is Duck Hunt. This is interesting. Uh, I feel like this could be a little divisive too. <laughs> Also, I'm gonna be real. The duck never, the dog never bothered me. Everyone always says the dog bothers them. I like that he laughs at me. I like that he makes me feel less than. Put me in my place, duck. If I miss, point and say you suck, you dumb child. That's what I want it to say. Uh, Billy, why don't you start? Uh, a. I'm going go with A. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I was thinking about S, but not really. I mean, it's after three or four rounds, you're kind of done. Yeah. And uh, but but that was the game. Like I can't think of any other game I used the zapper for other than Duck Hunt. Well, uh, we never know. rented any game that required the zapper. You ever played Gotcha? Thing? Nope, nope, nope. Wild Gunman? Never. Nope. Chiller? Nope. Gumshoe? Isn't Chiller? Chiller is one. Yeah. Chiller is <laughs> awesome. Chiller is awesome. You're it's probably game. the best one. Open up your present, yeah. Sunny Boy. Oh, <laughs> Chiller. I got Chiller. I would have loved to have gotten yes, that. Yes, yeah. Get to blow her <laughs> off. Uh, Ricky, Duck Hunt. Uh, I'm going to give it a solid A-. minus. Okay. A minus because I love it, but I did hate that dog. Oh, <laughs> but I like man, that. it was. I just love trying to shoot that dog every time, and I couldn't. All right, go ahead. Unpopular opinion: the clay shooting game is way better than Duck Hunt. Oh, I, I love forgot the clay. about that. I love great. Great. Yeah, I forgot about well, the that's clay. Part of this part, the part of this game. I know, but I'm just saying. I never went to Duck Hunt. Uh, Duck Hunt with the because of the clay shooting. I'll land it a B. If it wasn't there, I would have dragged it down to like a D. I don't really care for Duck Hunt much. I, I always had like two different styles. Like, do I do I like shh, follow him, shoot it, or just like wait till it gets to a certain spot and go one, two, three, pop, 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 pop. Oh. So it was like, yeah, it was it was kind of like a. I, I made my own like game within the game with that one. Ricky grew up like this, bro, and holding the gun to the side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't like, talk <laughs> But that's the thing. It's like this is this is one of those games we all play because it came with the system. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we all have experience with this one. So this is this is more, this is more compelling to me than than the other ones. Yeah. R Real talk. How close were you guys to the screen? When you guys are very close. <laughs> uh, bon. yeah. I used to cheat too. For me, it's a B. I did like it a lot, but I would get bored of it. But it was like probably the only Zapper game I think I ever really played. So. Exactly. Uh, well, yeah. it was one of those things where it's like you, you you just played Mario Brothers and now you're kind of bored. It's like, eh, screw it. I'll play Duck Hunt. 100%. Yeah. What was the rankings? I gave it a B. A minus. B, A minus Billy. I don't even remember. Billy gave it an A. Said. I gave it an A. Okay. Yeah. I, oh, God. Wow, he's number, it's number one right It's like the top <laughs> one. Son of a gun. How did that one end up there? All right, here. Okay. It's stable, man. Make sure we see this. This is the original Ooh, Mario the Bros. One. Not Super Mario Bros. For if you guys don't know, look up gameplay online if you're if you don't know the difference. Um, this is the obviously the arcade style. Solid A. I think ready here comes unpopular opinion. I like this game better than Mario One. I'm not even that big of a Mario One guy. I respect Mario One, which we'll get to, but A for me. Nice. Um, I like it. I love that you could like you were competing against each yeah. other. Yeah. Yep. And you could whatever bonk each other on the head so it was, great. yeah it was super fun it was frustrating kill your friend jump on him jump him so he bounces off <laughs> yeah <him. laughs> there's a lot of different aspects to it i don't know if i like it better than mario one though but uh i'd give it a b okay like a b it. it's good this is this is tough because it it the the score for me uh varies vastly whether or not you're playing one to two players like with two yep. players it's yeah. amazing yeah. With, okay. with two players well, it's let's a, say with two players because that's two an option players, it's an it's an it's an A with two players. With with just one person, it's an E. Yes. Um, but, <laughs> I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> you know what? My, my, my favorite thing to do was when somebody else was about to jump, that like you you hit, you the, hit the pal sign, yeah, flip yeah, the thing yeah, over, flip yeah. Around, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was awesome. I, I, yeah. So I don't know if we want to average that and say it's a C or, or just say it's an A. But you could say it's, it's a. It's a. Oh, well, I know <laughs> you want to say. <laughs> we'll average as a C. <laughs> He's, what is your? You have to just pick a number, a letter. Um. 
What's it gonna be? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna put an F. I just kidding. A. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I love the game. Oh, I this is the highest know. rating. A, 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 B. B. It's a great game. Let's go. So far, it's the highest rating. This is like a solid, pretty Patented, much. You know, Chris. Nice. Uh, uh, a little bit above duck. <laughs> All right, ready? Let's go with. Ooh, here we go. Ice climber. How did they become characters in Smash Bros? Even though I love them in Smash Bros. I, I actually I love this game. This is the one I actually come back to play. Well, Curtis, you want to give it a ranking? It's an S dog for me. So Ooh. if you guys want to keep it on there, this is the one I actually like enjoy a lot. Really? Yeah. That's I love awesome. The so Ricky? Uh I like it. It's a B. <laughs> I'm gonna go C. I'm gonna go C. No, I don't I don't, I don't, suck. I don't care for you it. You think in the right game, Chris? Yes. <laughs> It's the one where he plays that guy named Icarus, right? Or Pitt? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't play it a ton. Did play it a little bit. Probably because it's an F. <laughs> just camera. You should. You go? Hey, but you said you didn't. You don't play much. Okay, uh, so your ranking's gone. D. Right. D. <laughs> is it D? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, no. D. I'm just gonna go. Find the nearest bridge, guys. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. Billy. <laughs> this game irritates the piss out of me. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, e. 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 I don't have any nostalgia for it. And the controls, <laughs> like when you're trying to go up. It, it, We're not even gonna find its ranking. Oh, We're just gonna leave it at E. Likes. <laughs> oh, guys! Hey, Curtis is going. All right, let's all drop it. Okay. Did anybody? If you grew up playing this, me and my cousin, whenever we see each other, we go like this. That's the sound effect for that entire game. Ten yard fight is on the screen. Nostalgia is an S. Game is an F. Oh, it's not even close. That's an F. <laughs> that, that sucks so bad. I played it so much. My nostalgia is an S. I'm I know. You. Hey, look, I I'm, I understand because I have games, uh, Bible Adventures. It's a terrible. I game. love Bible it's, Adventures, but, it, but it's nostalgic. I love that game, and I got signed by the creator of the Brenda Huff. I think her name. Was. Yeah, she was. I think she's a game. Yes, player. I got her signed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, F. It's an F. I played Tecmo Bowl before this, so <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, then, yeah, you can't <laughs> screw that. Yeah. You can't go from Tecmo Bowl to that's this. That's like hanging out with Chris before you meet Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, Curtis. All right, speed run this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Curtis. You know, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. You're He's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like that's go like that's go. like eating nachos and then you go to the kitty litter and just finding what what, what, what <laughs> there is. Turn my lunch in there. <laughs> like you can't do that. That's garbage, man. <laughs> What'd you put it at? I'll be nice. I'll do E. <laughs> oh, don't be nice. Why would you be nice? Gracious. Don't be nice. <laughs> Ricky, you know we've never had a quadruple F, and you just ruin the chances with that oh. E. I'm sorry. I'll change back to an F. It's no, F. you cannot. It's F for me, too. It's terrible. <laughs> this is Bad. crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a sports F, game F. hater. Like, I, I like sports games. I, I like hey, sports like, games, yeah. Now it's E F F. 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 E F. Did you, are you saying, you're saying F. Oh, Hot man, garb. that's crazy. I can't believe something got below ice <laughs> climbers. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is probably the lowest of the low, like out of anything that we've ever voted. That's crazy. That really is. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, Donkey Kong, the the biggest Steve Weeby, whatever, Billy Mitchell, we're looking at Donkey Kong. Uh, B for me. I'm not in love with it like most people are. I don't, I can play it for a good amount of time, but I don't love, love, love it. B. Nice. Yeah, it's a frustrating game for me. I like it because of the history of it, and maybe it deserves a little higher just because of that. But for me personally, playing it, I get super bored with this game. Of course, that's for what it is. Of course, it's a, it's a, I, it's a literally the icon. Yeah, that pretty much can save you know save the Nintendo. But but just uh, I'd give it a C, C okay. for me. Billy, this is S tier. Uh, it's a simple game. Uh, it's an arcade game, but with this game, unlike the other ones on this list this game when i die when i'm over i actually want to play again i do get that mm. actually i get that and so for for that reason it's a it's an s i do like that explanation i, I actually agree with that ricardo uh b for me <laughs> i like it how many more, how many not more as we, passionate about billy how many more we got on that list uh 17 jeez <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> what was yours so it was it was s billy yes i went c i went b Okay, so it's like a, it's still not beating the, the Mario. Don't, how many, uh, Curtis, I'll go quick, I promise. All right, ready? <laughs> I have to hit this. Gyromite A. I love Gyromite. I quite literally love this game and playing it with Rob. I love it. I forget. Could you play it without Rob? Yes. You could. I think, I, think, I, think you, I think you press select to drop the pillars. I wish there was a zoom in I on like his how he's face. just like, he just... you need Rob? No, and he's like. 
<laughs> normally, you ask, has been alive. <laughs> normally you ask a question I, for a response because well, I think I've only played it with jo with Rob. So I'm trying to th think of what the gameplay is without it. And I only played it a couple times. With Rob, it was pretty awesome. I'm just always super impressed with any game with Rob. Serious. Like, I'm like, this is amazing. I wish they would do something like that What else again. goes with Rob? Stack Up? Stack, Stack Up. up. Yeah. Stack Up is amazing, too. Just watching Rob go and do it. I'm like, oh, my God, this is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm going to give it, just because, again, I played it with Rob, and it was pretty impressive. But I'll give it a B. Okay. Just a remember it being a B. I, I'm I I didn't really have a whole lot. Uh, I Trash briefly it. briefly played this a little bit with uh, there were some kids across the street. They played all the games before I did, and I went over there. They were playing Gyromite, and they were they weren't even playing with Rob. They were playing with the second controller. Oh wow! Um, for me, it's uh, it's it's a C, just average. Ricky, I feel like I can't grade it. I think I've only watched people play it. I didn't get to play it. So ABC lands it right at a B. Okay, Curtis, I promise. I sense we're out of time. For this one, we will literally just say our grade and nothing else. Wild Gunman, C. D. C. D. That's kind of boring. I actually want to... <laughs> <laughs> you made me feel like we had to hurt. Oh, shoot. I grabbed the wrong one. I want a little bit more spice on okay, it. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's, go, let, let's close out. We had a couple more, but I say we close out with this one right here. Mario Bros. Black Box. Original. I mean, that's, that's an S, right? Super S. Mario Bros. Uh, the, uh, well, I mean, not for not you. Not for you. But... Okay, they say S. I'm going to go A, just because I like 2 and 3 so much better. But, I mean, it obviously is iconic. I did play the heck out of it. But, dude, no, where it's time, you had all the little time. secrets and everything. That was amazing. I love that. It does deserve an S. I'll change it to an S. I like how yeah, Curtis S. is holding up Ricky's mic. <laughs> and, <laughs> Curtis. and, again, I'm comparing it to all the other black books. Oh, yeah. that's true. Yes. Games. Yeah. So I shouldn't compare this is, it to two yeah. and three. That is hard because you're comparing. I have to remember I'm comparing to other ones. Yeah. Um, B for me. Re obviously respect what it does. And I've talked about this before. None of you. I think it was you who didn't even know. Now that you can see it. Sorry, audio listeners. Look, Mario is dying on the front cover. He is missing his jump, firing into the wall, going into the lava. What a weird, weird thing for one of the most iconic games of all time. So we had a B A S S. J -j -j drop the base. Oh, it was a base. <laughs> so I think that's number one. So number one landed at Mario Super Mario Bros. Mario Bros. The arcade classic was second place, and all the way at the bottom, ten yard fight and ice climbers. Yeah, I just wow. had to say ice climbers so Curtis heard it, <laughs> even though it's not necessary to say what got second hey, class. Hey man, at least hey. he didn't get last. If Red Racer was on here, oh, wait, not Rad Racer. Rad Racer. I was literally I about Rad Racer. I'm like, I was gonna put it on an Racer. F. 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 I, I love hate it. Rad Racer too. It's I terrible, but I game. love the nostalgia. I part think was so I good. like it until I play it. Oh, yeah. I hate that oh. game. Plus, you I, get to put with the little goggles. No the one little... played with the goggles, Ricky. That's true. Hey, look, I'm going down the road. Oh, I flipped over. <laughs> yeah, like every two seconds. Game so, over. I'm so glad we didn't end that early because that was awesome <laughs> yeah. to end it like that. All right, so we're gonna go on our like a little bit of a funner topic. It's called Worst of the Worst, which is basically like, hey. <laughs> You got pet peeves out in the world. You do hate when th people do certain things. Like, Ooh. what is yours? You know what I mean? This is fun. So, what? yeah, just what is – last time we talked about paper straws, we talked about, about people, cutting in line. People who cut in line, which I filmed <laughs> right after me cutting in line with Curtis at Panda Express, remember? <laughs> but like, you did pay for my meal, so technically you kind of made up for it, right? So true. that was awesome. Okay, I will, I will just start with one of mine. Make sure you guys have yours ready. Mine is people who are on their phones when you're hanging out with them. Mm. It drives me nuts. I always make jokes to people. I'm like, well, I didn't drive down here to hang out with the side of your face. I'm like, let, let me be in this room with you. Chris, I saw you texting earlier. I saw you texting earlier. What are you talking about? I saw you texting earlier. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I know that it's, you know, we're in the modern age and it's, you want to check your phone on certain things. But I'm not talking about, oh, shoot, I got a text. Let me. But when you're hanging out... And they're like just scrolling through Twitter for 20 minutes. Like, what? Why? Why did I come over? Why are we hanging out? I know it makes me an old man, but that's something that's always bothered me. I was not texting earlier, by the way. What I was checking my. What notes. were you doing? Oh. I was checking notes. I actually wanted to look up that Sony PS4, PS5 stuff because I couldn't remember it, what Sony. Oh, okay, had. that's because so I mean, it is unfair. Something. Technically, I have all the notes in front of me, so if he has his own, he's got his. And own. a lot of times, I'll have notes <laughs> yeah. on my phone. In order to not look like it, you have to bring out a tablet, so it doesn't look like. <laughs> you're <checking laughs> it. Otherwise, it just looks like you're on your phone. Yeah. Billy, do you do that? Uh, no. 
Okay. Oh yes. You it do? depends. It depends on the situation. If like people are just like doing their own thing, like I'm, 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 I'm naturally, different. I'm naturally kind of like a hermit to begin with. Okay. But I try not to. I try not to do it. I actively try not to do it because I am with you because like don't don't be in your phone so i try to not do it myself and that's different to what you said i think it's good to clarify that like if you're at somebody's house and obviously you know you're doing different things they're cooking a meal and you're sitting on the couch and they're obviously not trying to talk to you go for it but i'm talking like you're literally sitting at the same dinner table together yeah. and one of them's on their phone you're like just looking across like yeah what, why are they what, what's happening right now that's my my pet peeve ricky you actually kind of took one the one I was going to do, but I'll, I'll switch it up because I was going to do phone in the movie theater because my eyes automatically go to a phone every time. I'm like, damn. Okay, that's just blasphemy <laughs> for someone to do that, to open a phone during a movie. <laughs> I, uh, I'm on my phone in the movie theaters. Oh, time, but, but what? Is your brightness I turn down? the brightness down to nothing, yeah. and I don't think anybody can see it. Yeah, my, I still, my eyes now, always go to it. If you have a super bright phone, yeah, that's absurd. Oh, my gosh, but brightness down in and your And you were on your phone. You're two for two right now <laughs> of our pet peeve. <laughs> All right, what was your other one? You said you had a real All one. Right. Uh, when when you uh, when you hold the door for someone, they just like stare at you and don't say anything. I I I, I go out of my way every time to open. It. They're like, oh yeah, like old people always say yes, but like the newer, like the like, the younger kids. You know why? Oh, my. you know how they walk in the door on their phone and they don't notice you. And I'm just like. Open. I, I, it shouldn't bother me, but it does. I'm like, dude, oh, say it's thank you or something. California thing, because I don't. No, it, it is a California. Oh, it is a California. You are getting thanks, sugar. I at lunch. Thank you, sugar. When I go at lunch, <laughs> and all those high school kids are going to lunch, like they get all, they all can walk off campus. What a good privilege they have. But they go over to our shopping center and go to all the food places. I open the door for like multiple of them, and I don't only just get cut in line, but they don't <laughs> yeah, say. You get wow. smoked sometimes. Get, yeah, yeah. I literally open the door for them. They do not even acknowledge. Yeah you at all like they're wow. just you're just like a door stopper or a door opener you know what the best thing to do for that when somebody walks in again you're not doing it to get a thank you but i get it but if you're opening the door for someone and they walk in and they don't say anything i always go you're welcome <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like let I them think, know i think i'm just too much of an intro i'll like, just be like yeah you're welcome <laughs> yeah, like i'd say it under my breath <laughs> yeah. well it's 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 so weird the I'm difference not a, is. Yeah. like because like we're we're you know in texas it's like it's uncommon for you not to hold the door open for somebody yeah yep like when you're, especially, I, I just think of an example on my way here. It's like, I, you know, the, the the gas station. Everybody was all. It was like a, a, a barrage of people holding the door open for each other as they're both coming in and out. And it's just like you don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. You don't even. It's not something you even think about. It's just something that it's. There happened. is a difference. Like when I lived in Texas for a year, they basically implant that in your brain that you better have some type of chivalry or some type of gratitude oh, towards something you have no idea how much i drill it into my son's head look son, look at people in the eyes say thank you hold a door don't you ever not hold the door open for you know someone you know especially a, a woman but i always say you know hold the door open say thank you say please i'm an i'm an i asshole. drill that into my son's Good. head to say thank you like even if i bring him something i'll be like hey here's your dinner and then i'll, I'll be like no, <laughs> like, can you just say thank you and not, yeah. so i don't know i mean maybe our parents drilled that into us too and i think it's very important to drill that into your kids. i feel like, like you would do the be same appreciative thing. Yeah. yeah absolutely you know i feel like chris would do it he'd be, but he would like stare for a good minute like waiting for him to say, <laughs> no, no i always say thank you for everything very appreciative. Thank you. Good. Oh, yeah. Thanks, thanks for saying that. Chris. <laughs> I would say that one of my worst of the worst is when people park in a handicap and they do not are not handicapped. Oh yeah. I feel like that's big in California. Oh my god. Because there's I will say where we live and the part of area where we live, I'm not gonna say the city, but it's very a lot of uppity people, a lot of hoity -hoity. very commonplace. Everybody's in a Range Rover, a Tesla. I mean, it's like five at every stoplight. Every Mom, and that I'm not gonna say the city name is feels like they're entitled to park in the in, yeah, in that it's, spot. It's, that's, that's pretty bad. That's silly. That's silly and I don't get it. I don't see that very often. But no, my dad always oh, does. He'll yeah. pull up like next to one of those cars and he'll walk out like, like he's like, like <laughs> stumbling. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm like, Got him. <laughs> no, I think what just drives me nuts is like I know like, there's so many other parking spots, but you just felt the need to it's take that. It's entitlement. I have an issue with people who feel they're, that they're entitled. And I I've always wanted to take. A nice knife and put it directly in their tire, but I hold back. I hold back. You know, I'm like, oh man, I can tell you some stories, man. Go ahead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one time, one time, this guy did that. 
He got out of the, He got out and went to a Ross. Completely able body, and I and I hear that. Like I see some videos of people like you. Oh, you can't tell that they have. Oh, they can't. You can't tell. You know, they're, they're not everybody's handicap is visible. I'm sorry, but if you're getting out of the car and doop 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 to out the of your store, truck, woo! you're not handicapped to the point where you need a handicap a physical, spot. A physical handicap yeah. spot. Yes. to the point where you need a handicap spot. Yes. Sorry, but you don't. There, are, I've seen plenty of people that cannot even walk into the store and they need it, that spot. Yes. And so I was just like, yeah, I, mean, I was like, you know what? Maybe, you know, he had a convertible. He was a d bag yeah. and the convert the roof was back. And I just took my, my water bottle and I said, you park like a son of a b You're good. That's nine. I, I, that's actually, that, <laughs> that's actually, that's actually tamer than what I really wrote. But True. I, oh, nice. I don't Thank wanna, you. But I, and I, and I threw it into his car and like, should I even be telling this story? Absolutely. Heck yeah, dude. I mean, like, what, what is he, he going to remember? Like, who dude, did like, hey! He was like, no. Like, yeah. I, I have family members that are literally handicapped. They, they can't True. walk. They can't walk. Yeah. And if to, for them to go to the grocery store, they actually have to have like a, a, a walker to get to the front. Oh and, yeah, and so I have I have zero tolerance. It's it's crazy because like my dad, who's had a stroke at thirty, he's had like eight different knee surgeries. He will not be the person to want to take a handicap spot. He wants to save it for someone who truly. Yeah, like he literally will go out of his way. He he'll get it in the mail. He doesn't even yeah. put it on it. He like he just is like I can do it. Like I can do whatever. I'm fine. Yeah. Like I'm still willing and able. Yep. But if you don't have that placard or even have that on your license plate. I'm sorry, man. That is the most disrespect that you could have towards it's somebody who is. super douchey. You know what I mean? It's Unless you're walking out and you're like Stevie Wonder and somehow you're driving blind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. no way it's acceptable. No, I get yeah. what you're saying. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, not, not everybody's, you know, uh, disabilities are visible. But I'm sorry, but if you were able to walk to the store, walk all around inside the store and grocery shop. Without a, a chair. Without or a anything. Or then I'm 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 sorry, but maybe 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 allow the person that it, that's missing a leg use that yeah. spot. No, I see it like where, where where we are again. I said it's like the mom with the Gucci on carrying all the Starbucks, just wanting to get their drink. I'm yeah. like, come on. It it just bothers me because it's like when it's only when the person walks out. Like I'm not gonna judge it like beforehand, right? It's yeah. only when I see it happen that's when Do my you blood say gets something. Boiling. No, I hate confrontation, dude. I do. I dude. say something. I always say something. <laughs> you should know that my confidence level is zero. So. I used to not be like that. I used to be a people pleaser, like, my whole life. And, like, maybe seven years ago, my wife and I went to some, like, you know, se that seminar thing about, you know, who you are. And I quickly learned that I was way too much of a people pleaser. And they, like, you know, had me kind of rethink certain things. And I, I think that it almost made me a jerk in some areas because now I always call things out, like, if I see it and it bothers me. You know, I just, I say it. Maybe I shouldn't all the time. Sometimes my kids will see me do it. I'm like, eh, maybe I didn't need to be that aggressive. But I definitely say something. I see yeah. someone parking. Who, yeah. who hasn't said they're worse of the worst yet? Let me, let me hear it. Christoph. Christoph. I have a couple. <laughs> you guys um, just people who get mad at me for parking and handicap. Like Russian? You guys are like, Christoph. <laughs> <laughs> people who yell at me for parking and handicap spots. <laughs> yeah. Hey. No, I've never actually done that. I'm ever. Um, I do get annoyed sometimes at how many handicap parking spots there might no. be. Wow. <laughs> this <laughs> guy <laughs> Dude, I thought that was going to go in a whole different place. I, I hate how sometimes many handicap people there are. Sometimes I feel like there's too are. many, but they're yeah. not being utilized. But I understand if there's that many handicap people. But it, it seems funny. like there's an awful lot of them. Sometimes. That comes to all like coding and zoning like that, 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 that's for development it's, so. it's, it's funny that you say that because my post office like the one that i always go to it's it's so weird the handicap spots aren't even in front of the building they're like all to the side like it's out of the way like, <laughs> yeah. the other spots. like what yeah, <laughs> so i up. just i just park in those because it's like Nobody's gonna, no handicap person's actually gonna use these. Oh, like, that's not, horrible. I, not really, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I but you know what? It just, it's just really, it's just, it's really strange. So, like, I get that. Like, well, just, I mean, when you drive into a parking lot and you see like rows and rows and rows of handicapped parking spots, like at a big event or something, and you're like, nobody's using this, bro. <laughs> He's not <laughs> speaking <Phil>. for us. <laughs> 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 All right, enough of that. Yeah, no. Go ahead. Are there, are there um, really going to be that many handicapped people here? <laughs> Come on, guys. Bad, bad yeah. opinion to have. Um, one thing that really, really bothers me is when I see like the professional, all geared up bicycle guys, and they oh, are boy. in the not on the bike lane, not on the sidewalk. They are riding in the middle of the road, 
Like they are just a car, and I am like, oh my you God. are not a car. That they pisses me off so, so many much. options for you to do things, and then on top of it, like they'll act like they're a car, and then they'll come up to like a four way stop, and they don't even stop. They just go through it as if like they have Bicy- the right away. Bicycle is coming through. Yeah, bicycle <laughs> coming through. And I'm like, oh my God! Like if you're gonna act like a car, act like a car first of all. Don't yeah. just start running red lights and doing yes. everything. Oh my God! But I it bothers me to no end. When there's a sidewalk and now even bike lanes and they're not. I got into it so bad with this stupid (laughs) bag. (laughs) (laughs) Because he was because he was doing that. So I got off on the service lane of a highway and you got I guess this particular service lane service lane is big. It's got three lanes, right, middle, left. (laughs) I'm getting off. He's in the middle lane. Yep. In the middle lane. Just do 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 do. And and I'm like, what what are you doing? First of all, you're gonna get killed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like it's like it, if you were just like half a second behind me, I probably wouldn't even seen you because you would have been on my blind spot. Yep. You idiot. Yep. And when we got up to the red light, I let him have it. Oh yeah. Oh, I let him have it. Yeah. Nice. And 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 he and I I, just, <laughs> I I I said I said some words that I don't even think exist. Oh, like, cool. <laughs> that you would definitely have to bleep out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like I just let him have it, and he was like, oh, you, you know, like like whatever. You ain't gonna do anything. Yeah. yeah do they yeah. have but, courage on bikes too, man? They are mouthy people. And, yeah. and I get it. Like sometimes, yes, they have. They're doing a swarm. There's like forty guys all biking. I will be the first to say I am a daily runner where I run. Outdoors. I'm not a treadmill runner. I run outdoors. I I always make sure I'm giving the cars all the room they need, even if there's not a sidewalk. I find my way. I'll stumble in the bushes while I have to get through for that mile to go through to make sure I'm not in the car lane. You know, I mean, sad to say it too. You see it all over California, yep. all the memorials. So many people have gotten smoked on bikes. They'll hang out in the bike lane, but they'll swerve in and out of it like crazy. And then they'll be entitled. I've seen them videos. They'll kick the car. While they're driving, but like, dude, you just almost got smoked by someone going 70 miles an hour. It drives me nuts when they're all on PCH and they're in like a huge a group, group and they're pushing. It doesn't bother the me cars. if they stay in their lane. No, 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 but they're okay. A highway should not be a dedicated bike lane for 30 bicyclists all at once pushing traffic to the left towards yeah. another car. You Did know you what just mean? say highway? Yeah, yeah, PCH. Did y'all do that here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. PCH is not, what the number. The one? bikers take over on like Sunday mornings. Oh yeah. Down in on PC, PCH right. is Pacific Coast Highway going up and down. Like Unless Route we, One. we have dedicated they, bike lanes, but they literally the take over the. But they want to be down. wide. They want to have like five. They want to talk to their buddies. There's like, like oh. packs of is there, them ro- running in like. There's no like 50, police sixty. There's no like police escort. They just do it. No. Yeah, they, they just, just do it. it. And so this isn't like a marathon. This isn't like anything. It's just packs. So there's a difference between our freeways and our highways, but it. For us, like the highway for PCH, it's along the beach, right? So all the way down the coast, you have this highway going miles. through. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It, it's a nice view. It's great. But for the most part, there are dedicated bike lanes, but they do not want to wait and watch, like get around people who walk. They all just want to be on speed racers, full army suited out. Okay. So I, and I have another group. pet peeve about these bicyclists. Go well, let, before you say it. I'm all get outside. Bye. <laughs> no, 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 we are. Be, no, no, we be are. healthy. Go beyond. Do your thing. Love it. Get your energy out. But just if imagine me in my car, just thinking I can cruise in the middle lane the whole time. You can't do that. You got to stay in your lane. Right. Yeah. Like, like that's just it's just dangerous. It's dangerous for it's dangerous for you. And then when I hit you, yeah. I'm I'm at fault. It's or, my yep. problem. Or you can almost hit someone else, being like, oh shoot, bikers, and hit the guy next to you because you're trying to swerve yes. out of the way. I think what like what like really gets to me because like I I'm all for it too. Like I, I've been in Huntington Beach for a while now. It's it's when they all jump into you and you have a car like you have a, alongside it, the parking, and then you have thirty bikers, and then you have two small lanes next yep. to each other, and that's it. Kind of pushes it like. They do not yield to you at all. They yep. just keep on going. They have their little mirror, and they just they don't care. Yeah, no, it, it's 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 strange. Like it, there, there's areas where I come from where there's like back b- bike lanes or whatever, but it's yeah. not as prevalent as here. Totally. Yeah, and, yeah, I, yeah. and I remember like on my way here, I was actually crossing a street where the bike lane was coming across, and then the bike lane like went in front of the street. And like I have to remember myself. Like remember, like oh, is, is there someone on a bike here? It's like you don't think about that sort of thing. Like where I'm from. It's <laughs> yeah, like, and, and it's, it's, I mean, Abilene, dude, the the roads are trash, so you know that like yeah. the, there's no bikes on those roads. Where dude. Ricky lives, they just redid the whole long street by his house to make sure that bikers have like a more of a right of passage, and the accidents in that area have gone up like 
quadruple fold because it's messing up the car. Dude, traffic is insane now there. Just for a bike lane that no one uses. I've and seen no one, one uses bike it. use it. California must have passed a new law too. Are they green? Did they paint they're their green? They're green. So yeah, they're doing it all around Huntington Beach now. Yeah, too. Yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. these super wide green lanes. Yep. But they're maybe trying to solve this problem with these bikers taking and, over and, the road. Yeah, you know, no, they, they are. They're around them because there's it. like green uh, it, like barrier things. You I'm, can't go around them. I'm all for it. I mean, like if they want to make a dedicated lane, but follow that lane, dude. Yeah, but stay in that lane. Once stay it's there. in that lane once it's there. It, it sounds like some half-hearted way to try to encourage people to ride bikes instead of cars. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is what it is. Yes. Yeah, and it's definitely just the county or somebody pushing that initiative. To make themselves feel good. Yeah. 100%. I made a difference at my city council. Exactly. You know? <laughs> now, Billy. Yeah, that, you, kind of, that kind of stuff is, you know, it's 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 happening politics. everywhere. Like, yeah. Do we have another worst? Oh, of the worst? I got plenty. We got we got <laughs> time for one more, I believe. Let me check. We can finish on this one, bro. Oh, oh I got I, I love this. I got one. Let's hear it. All right. People who do not take their shopping carts back. Oh, I said oh, this oh, last. Oh, I, said, oh, I, yeah, I talked last about it last time. time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. did you? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Billy. It, you can give a quick. Art, you can give a, a, a one minute rant though, so we don't double dip with the audience. I do not want to. I'm sorry. Mess with him. I, I used up on my cuss words, but um, <laughs> if, if you I, look, I will give the ex, I will give the ex, a, a, exception to uh, if you're elderly, uh, if uh, you have a disability, if you have, if you're a woman who is you know has a young child and they don't want to leave that child into the car in the car by itself, and you don't yeah. want to take the the cart back to the car, the car. I get it, but if you are an able bodied person and you don't take your cart back, <laughs> you can go to hell. Oh wow, <laughs> you're in a church, Billy. You can go. Well, well, good. They should know better than anyone. Like that's that is that is commandment number one as far as I'm <laughs> concerned. Oh, like, God. do not. You are a bag if you do not take your cart back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I share the you, same sentence. Especially I've seen people leave them in parking spot where I'm trying to like park. I'm trying to go in. Oh, there's a there's a car. I've been in there's my car, car and seen someone put it behind my car. Like just left. I'm like, uh, not to get out. Move yes, the car. yes. Oh my god, I would lose. I would take it. I would take it and just throw it onto their car. Like if that happened. I think one of the biggest things for me is uh -oh. people who act like they're in the military when they're not. Oh, that's that's just. I know that's, it's I mean, illegal. It's stolen illegal. Valor. Oh yeah, of course it's stolen valor. But I mean, like it's just the fact that you have the the courage to think that you can put on the uniform not and courage. claim it. Not no, no, no I'm saying opposite. is that no, a common no, it's thing? A, it's a it's a it's a cowardly Kinda. thing. But I'm saying Here? to have really? it's, to have the nuts to even put on a thing, and when you didn't do it, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, I've seen a lot of videos pop up on on that lately. Really? Yeah. You got him. But yeah, yeah, no, I think it's just, just that in general. Like people who want to use the benefits for the, the, the discounts, the first on a plane, all these things. Like I have so much family in the military. That is a direct yeah. insult. Yeah, but that's that's funny because usually when that to, to get any sort of benefits at that, you have to present them with an ID. Yeah, yeah. Well, even a lot it's of it faked. too. A lot of it is they, they, so, yeah. they're, so they're going to the point of faking illegal. No, like if you're even dressed oh, and claiming wow. this, it is called stolen valor. But there's illegal. also people too who like you think if you wear it, you still get, you know, notoriety people respect you more when you're out you go to in and out or something they're not going to ask you show me your car they'll say oh yeah clearly you I, sure but to I, get the, the like the, I, big, the discount legal I like watched, government yeah. I somebody watched, just wearing like a marines vet hat and they're not a marines vet yeah. kind of thing I, I even watched a video where this lady went to a uh a recruitment center dressed all in uh the army gear and all that stuff wanting a loan Right, oh boy. and claiming to be a lieutenant didn't even. So the guy at the recruitment center is like just messing with her. She's like, "Oh, so like you're this like this whatever department it is," and she's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And then he tells her a rank, and he's like, well, "She kind of just kind of stunned." Wait, right? I, wait, I'm sorry. She was recording this video. No, no, no. The guy at the recruitment center was recording it oh. as it was happening to kind of show you know what happened. people do at what lengths to get something and be an advantage, she had tried to apply for a loan at a recruitment center. Wow. Out of all things. And then tried to get a flight back to wherever she was going. I saw that one. Yeah, and I'm like, you have the audacity to walk into just, and, and to try to get a loan. I mean, why would you get a loan at a recruitment I feel like someone like that, you can't truly, that person doesn't grasp what it means to serve the country because there's so much honor in being willing to put your life on the line for people you don't know. 
you know, for a country that you live in and then for someone to be like, yeah, I, I did that too. Like I, that was me too. Like just kind of throw your hat in the ring. Yeah. Well, it's just, the, it's this, it's the scum of the scum. Like those type of people are the type of people that would, that would screw over like an old lady. Yeah. You know, trying to scam them, like trying to get their social security number. Like those, those are the, the lowest of the low people. Yep. That's why we call this segment the worst of the worst. My <laughs> other one is not near near that low, but it does make me angry. It makes me very angry. Mm. I don't know if anybody in here does it. I'm sorry. Don't don't look at me in the eyes. I hate when people let their kids run around when in like a okay. place of where you're eating. I hate it so much. When, and I get it. It can be <laughs> cute when you're eating your food and a little kid comes up and he, you know for one second he got away from the table. Oh hey buddy, it's like. No, Rick, Ricky doesn't do it. When, <laughs> when they, you know, they come to the table and they're like, hey, buddy, oh, cute for two seconds. Hi, where's your mom and dad? And the mom and dad are over there on their phones. Well, they're worse of the worst. Over their phones, just chilling. And the kids just running around the restaurant. Just, oops. Yeah, <laughs> touching things, just chilling, going around the restaurant, mind, get butting into everyone's food. And that's, I get it. In the beginning, I know it's hard to be a parent. And this used to bug me before I had kids. And everyone's like, well, wait till you have kids, man. Didn't change. I <laughs> tell my kids, we're at a restaurant, sit your yeah. butt down. Sit, no, I don't yeah. understand why that's so difficult. People act like it. Before I had kids, yeah. I was like, you just don't know. Do you have golden corrals here? Yes. yes. Very good. It, is, it is. I don't know. I don't know what it is about golden corral, but it is the worst at golden corral. <laughs> Zoom. They can't corral the I hope they're not they a sponsor of this video. No. <laughs> but, but it is worse. Like, you, you cannot corral your kids at, uh, well, I can, but every time I go to Cal Golden Crawl, around the table, like it don't, it don't matter every time. Yep. Dude, it's, it's insane. I feel like Golden Crawl is so prevalent in Texas. I'm telling you, every time we had like a travel for <laughs> baseball within Texas for me in college, we would go to a Golden Crawl. What's the equivalent of so a Golden good. Crawl out here? Sizzler. 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 Oh, I don't even, nah, I don't know. So. It used to be like, I feel like that's a low Golden, blow. Golden Corral is not. I feel like it's just Chinese it's, buffets, please. It's a, it's a yeah, Chinese buffet, but with like southern, like southern, like <laughs> southern sort the of. The only like, thing you know. I used to love mm -mm. getting there was uh, bread pudding, and that was about it, dude. Oh, that was. But you, like, didn't like, you didn't like Golden <laughs> Corral? No. Like, I, 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 oh my God. But, like, <laughs> like, I would go there so much. Like, when, whenever I was like, you know what? Uh, my calories are low. I need, to, I need to really kind of just like you eat this. You would just go in and just do all you can eat. Bread, bread pudding. pudding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why do you think I turned out the way I did, Chris? <laughs> but no, that's literally like I just go there because you would have to feed an entire baseball team, right? Uh, what is the cheapest way to do it? We had a partnership. Pudding. Yeah, we had a ch partnership with Apparently. Whataburger or or people say Waterburger, Whataburger and um, Chick Fil A, and those were only like certain days of the week after practice, mm. and then the other ones were Golden Corral. Do you love Whataburger? So good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you like your glorified McDonald's. It's okay. It's not like it doesn't taste <laughs> anything like McDonald's. It does. I no, tried it, doesn't. it three times and I didn't like it twice. And then I really liked it one time. So it was so weird. I was like, Well, what did you get? A same cheeseburger, fries, and a, a shake, I'm sure. I think I drowned it out because he, he, we had it so many times but, and I was just disgusted. Look, like, I'm not going to sit here and say it's the most amazing burger in there. Like, it's not my favorite. Like, if I was going to go to like a burger joint or whatever, is it like, better than In and Out to you? Yeah. No. <laughs> but I like In and Out. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm not, I don't fair. dislike. So you're not like Jay. I'm not, oh no. I'm not like. Oh, it's what a burger and In and Out sucks. That's don't Jay. Freaking <laughs> bad. That's Jay. Every like, time I talk to him. <laughs> every time like, I talk to him. Look, no. I'll stick anything in my pie hole as long as it's tasty. Oh. <laughs> softball, softball, softball. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it lay for you. Don't worry. Did you, any, what, do, how much time left? Oh, I mean, we're pretty much out right now. So it's out. It's time. Yeah. I Dang it. Say, why would you want to say? I was hoping one of them. You got five it. minutes. You can go. Okay. Who, who else has got one? Come on, Ricky. I can't, Chris. Oh, good. I have another good one that uh, really <laughs> bothers me. Unless you no, got go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we got five minutes. I, I it that bothers goes. me. I can't think of the t the term. Help me out with this. But it bothers me to no end when people use sympathy. The animals like um oh gosh what, what chris is, is gonna get so much trouble you know first he made fun of the handicap <laughs> and now he's making fun of uh uh therapy dog a therapy no 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 there's a different one it's it's a comfort dog like a comfort like dog or yeah, something yeah. yeah we're not talking about something that like somebody needs not a because service they're blind, dog. like they're blind no. so you're like, not yes. talking an actual service dog no, yeah. service okay dogs so, are, yeah i was like curtis cut the podcast service dogs are absolutely amazing what took place a few years ago and i can't it's it's like comfort dogs or sympathy animals yeah. or something like that, they, where people were trying to take 
dogs and ca- mostly oh, dogs. Yeah, yeah. In, inside grocery inside. stores. Uh, grocery stores, yeah. inside restaurants, on airplanes. Oh. And you and they, they literally had um, sheets of paper that were like you could probably go get from any doctor that just said, oh, yeah, this is a sympathy animal. Like yeah. you can bring it anywhere because you need to be sympathized by so, this creature. <laughs> What's that? No, 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 what? It's, okay, so Beto just said it in my ear. He said uh, emotional support. Dog. Emotional, emotional support, support dog. dog. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> You'll see those at the VAs. That's what they're for. A lot of the veterans, they have PT. Like, well, that's different. Okay, totally different. <laughs> okay, that's that's different. different. Stop, man, stop justifying it. <laughs> like, now you're making me feel bad. Because I used to see a ton of them. Like, what are Evil all these white men. Doing? I think but if you the don't the system have... got abused yeah. so yes. bad that then I started yes. seeing signs that said, we do not recognize emotional support animals at like airports and other places where I was like, yes, because people finally people figured were, out that this was just like a little loophole. People for were people bringing bring like chameleons animal. on and lizards. Yeah, I get it, like kind chickens. Of and they would all have like, a, a, I, I had a, fr- a, my wife had a friend who does not watch this podcast. I don't think she'll <laughs> Thank <that>. God. <laughs> Until she now. Abuse that everywhere we went. We would go out to dinner with her and she'd be like, Oh, I'm going to bring my dog in. And I'd be like, stop it. You're not bringing, don't bring the dog in to go to eat dinner. Oh no, the dog's going to come in and sit at the table with me because it's my emotional support animal. And then she would go up to the restaurant and they'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, miss. We can't have dogs in here. And she's like, oh no, no. You want to get sued? Here's my emotional support one page document. It was like not a legal thing at all. And I was, and they'd be like, oh God, we better let the dog in. And I'm like, they finally started shutting that down. And I was like, thank God. God, so my, my grandma used my my grandma get mad at people like that because she actually has two trained service dogs like she amazing animal service she go to the hospital, animals, to the hospital and like they would be like uh, like emotional support for the hospital people that are there that don't have anybody right but she has the actual paper that says they're service dogs if you didn't have that she'd yeah. Be- Chris, now, Chris is more talking too, about the abuse of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There might be yeah, people yeah. that that actually, like you said, somebody in the military, maybe there is reasons for it. You're that, talking so. the abuse of it. I just knew a, a, somebody that started to abuse it. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, t- I'll, take, I'll, take, I'll take, you know, if, if you went to war for, for our country, um, yeah, sure. Like, I, I have no qualms about you. Yeah. If Whatever P- PSD you've gotten from that, I, I, I don't understand it, but I yeah. get it. And have, have all the sympathy dogs that you need um otherwise you're just <laughs> i like <laughs> i can't wait to just beep 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 <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> I, I i do get it to some extent like i get it like obviously and i'm sure there are people watching who are hating us right now but there are certain things in the world like the billy said like yes for where it makes sense and it's real but there are some people where you just need a breakthrough of that that mindset of like you you got to push forward and break through and make that leap right, of like i right. can do this without saying that this i could say this this is an emotional support for a lot of teenagers right now yeah and it doesn't have to yeah. be on a lot of things it's more of the abuse of it i get what you're saying the you abuse. you <laughs> you, cr- you create your own reality up here every day oh, and like yeah. if you tell if you tell yeah. yourself that you need something like an animal just to go to the grocery store then you're going to need an animal to go to the grocery store but you're perfectly capable of telling yourself that you don't yeah, no, I get that. Uh, the The mind has so much power. People always ask me, "How are you in such a good mood every day?" It's because I, 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 know, I make myself in a good mood. I wake up, I think about I'm waking up next to my beautiful wife. My kids are in the other room. It's yeah. like this is a, a. I can decide what I'm doing with this, or yeah. I can wake up and focus on the things that are bad and be like, oh, "I wish this was better." Right. I wish that is the most important yeah. thing. I think sometimes people don't realize that you can control that voice in your head. You cre- and you can tell it what you want it to think. And if you yeah. like the other day, I was having a bad day. I was just kind of down on myself and. I woke up the next morning. I'm like, I am not thinking like that again. Let's start off good. Just fresh, good thoughts. Told it. And you can, you can control that and you can direct it for sure. Mm. You, you create your own reality. Yeah. You really do. And I feel like, you know, old man yelling at clouds, but a lot of the issues that we, we have today are are people that want to, uh, make excuses for what they, you know, where their places are in life because of outside forces. And I can't do this because of outside forces, outside forces. Thousand. Um, but in emotional support animals, 99% of the time are yeah. probably not going to solve that. <laughs> I have cats too. They're nice. They, they cats aren't down. that nice. Well, they're pretty awesome to have, and they're certainly soothing to pet and stuff, but it's not going to solve. All my That's the only time where Billy was allowed to say problems. the P word. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So we're going to end on that one. Thank you, Billy, for being here. I just want to say all the full episode for audio only will be in the description. And if you guys haven't yet, please go to SoCal Expo Ga- Gaming Expo and look at that link. Get your tickets. It is coming. 
coming up June 8th and 9th. Billy, thank you so much for Thanks, offending Billy. all of our audience. That was awesome. Every single one of them. <laughs> yeah. I love it. If you love getting offended, make sure to check out Game Chaser. Yeah. Obviously, they have a podcast every, every, as well. every, Everyone that's got an emotional support dog, and they're just going to throw them at me, and they're going to be like... And don't forget, Chris made fun of handicaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Right, right now, somebody is not returning their cart, and I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it. But, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for... I invited myself on, by the way. <laughs> you did. I, I invited myself on. It was on. great. I got a text. Yo, I'll be in California. I'm on... Get me on your podcast. <laughs> I was like, I'm in, bro. I love you. So thank you. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,